There we go. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. It is time to continue <clears throat> our flight brick run from last week. Hello, everybody. Um, so yeah, in Cogmine Dev News, there was a yet another patch that went out actually since the last stream. Um, that was intended to fix a crash in the combat log, which has been really bugging me, and a few people have crashed on that. And um, anyway, I need more info about it to fully solve it. I knew kind of where it was, and so the current version that's out um, doesn't completely solve it. What it does is it at least found it and prevents the game from crashing when it happens. But once that bug happens, because I couldn't uh, repeat it myself originally, um, uh, the actual fix that went out in the patch, uh, still locks up the log. So when you're opening, this is when you're. Uh, let me see back my window here. Uh, one second here. Here we go. Um, when you open the combat log and you scroll it, it turns out if you can't use an accelerated mouse wheel to scroll this window too fast, so fast that it goes past an entire page in a single scroll, that will lock your combat log. So don't do that. <laughs> um, uh, so yeah, it'll actually lock it in the current patch. I fixed it for the next one, but I feel I've been releasing too many patches. It's been crazy, the number of patches for beta 13 because of the, the UI changes. So um, yeah, if you scroll this window too fast, I mean, I, I can't even scroll it that fast uh, normally. It, it usually requires an accelerated mouse to get it to scroll that fast. And there's a few people who have one and have reported an issue with that. So anyway, I fixed it and then eventually got more data with the last patch and I fixed it for the next one. So that's the main thing that's happening. Otherwise, going pretty smoothly, um, you know, working on the next version uh, lately. So yeah, I haven't released that patch and don't want to bug everyone with too many patches. And it's just this particular combat log, which not a lot of people were hitting because it's it already scrolls fast. You know, when you scroll this, it scrolls this by a lot more. So once you scroll this an entire page, this has gone down by an entire page. And you're looking back pretty far. So anyway, OK, so Nagito asks, what's your favorite UI setting? Uh, well, personally, I actually... I I'm really fond of this new one. It's nice. Only, But my, my reasons are kind of different from other people, probably. Cogmine's de default font size is actually 12. And uh, if you have a... If you're running... Because I'm streaming, I'm using I'm streaming in 1080p. And if you're using 1080, a 1080p monitor, then you get to use size 24 as the default for the modal UI. Uh, or semi-modal, either one. And size size 24 means we're playing the original design, the way the Cogman was meant to be, meant to look. Um, it looks a little different from the other sizes. So I really like, I'm partial to this size, even though for me it's too large. Um, I actually prefer the original layout because it's smaller, and even that for me is too big. I, I wouldn't mind playing in a tiny little window with tiny font. That's okay. This is really big, but it's good for streaming. So I don't stream, normally I play in ASCII. Um, but for streaming, this is really good for me. Streaming in 1080p. I actually have a larger monitor, but I'm only streaming in 1080p in a smaller area of that window. But anyway, okay. <laughs> kids buffing my Logitech G502 here. <laughs> I don't even use mouse. Yeah, so technically in the future, you w yeah, you will be able to scroll even faster. It'll work. I, I fixed that. Uh, I figured out exactly. The last patch gave me enough data to figure out what was happening. I knew where the problem was, but I wasn't quite sure how it was possible. But it turns out it is theoretically possible to scroll that window so fast that you crash. <laughs> um, yeah, just the way it was coded. Uh, it didn't take into that uh, take that into account. So anyway, that's fixed um, for next next release whenever it is. I hope I'm probably not going to release another patch. I'd hope not to. But if if it keeps getting if it keeps happening to people and keep keep reporting, I might release another patch. But anyway. Oh, the Astro's all been working on a Steam Deck uh, control scheme. Cool. And there, I wonder how many of those there are. Like, and I've heard of like three or four different people making one. It's uh, there must be a lot by now. <laughs> But yeah, for me, honestly, the modal log is, I mean, the, the modal layout, the full modal is fine because I don't really read the logs anyway. I, I'm interested only in like the super important messages that appear otherwise, and and those already appear on the map. So it's great to get rid of that for me. I don't need the logs there at all. And, you know, we have these access to the other features here, which are only situational anyway. So uh, do you have to switch from keyboard only mods? Use your mouse when you're playing on your own. Oh, on my own? No, I don't use the mouse at all on my own. Even, in, even when I'm streaming, I won't use the mouse. The only reason I'm turning on the mouse is to point at stuff for you. But otherwise, I'll be, you know, be using the mouse. I also play in ASCII. So yeah, for anyone who hasn't ca caught my streams before, I play in um, ASCII mode normally in just keyboard. So we'll be doing that here. So let's get back into this run. What we do? A lot of stuff. We, it was a pretty random run. I didn't have a goal for it, but 
we started in the sub caves because I wanted to just check out the new sub caves again, and we ended up with the flight brick, which really shouldn't be in better shape than it is now. That thing could have lasted an entire run, but yeah, we attached a prototype, which you shouldn't do. Chat made me do it, <clears throat> but it's my fault for listening to chat. <laughs> All for the content, right? So now our flight break's gonna die, and then our build is gonna go kind of weird. But it'll still work out. But we, I guess we need, if we're gonna stay flight, we need to get more flight units. But eh, for now, we're okay. Anyway, so yeah, the other stuff we did, we did visit Data Miner. We don't have his help, though, because we tacked him and whiffed and uh, didn't get anything out of that except uh, nothing, pretty much, except our cannon. The current cannon we have is from, <laughs> it's taken from Data Miner. <laughs> Uh, we did jump into the chutes here. You can see on the map there, this little thing on the bottom under the F there is the fact that we went into a chute at the factory depth. We did that to escape trouble and reset our alert and whatnot. And uh, yeah, mainly escape trouble. And it's when you're on flight, it's not too scary. So that is, I think, how we got a tiny bit of corruption, though. Um, yeah, that's where our current corruption came from. And now we're headed into the upper caves. So hopefully the corruption isn't too bad for us here. Yeah, Red Banker. <laughs> uh, oh, there are five-ish on the workshop. Oh, but there are so many button commands, it really feels like you need a personal one that makes sense to you. Yeah, I, I can understand that. Uh, I've heard some yeah, some people have been using some of the schemes made by uh, others that they thought were uh, pretty pretty tight. But it's true, there's a lot of different possibilities. I mean, even with when you use keyboard, there's you know a lot of different movement layouts, um, that and people you know prefer different ones, so... Just that. Oh, we got an upper caves exit already. Not that we really need that. It's not that hard to find. I don't know where that is. Where is it? Way over here. Okay, top left corner. We did get some intel there. So you can open that if we need it. But eh, the important stuff pops up anyway, so it's good enough for me. Outpost generator. Oh, okay. So well, we've already found an outpost. <laughs> um, that's in nice with the seismic detector giving us that info. Oh, before we move on, I should probably check our inventory. This is what we're carrying. We do have a spare engine. We have a heat sink. We have a terrain scanner. Hmm, that might come in handy. Um, we have an extra seismic detector. Ah, that's right. We're using three of our parts, three of our extra utils are uh, coming from our flight brick, which is a big boost. So that's one of the big things that we want to keep that around for. We do have a drone bay. Hmm. Probably not going to be useful right now because of the outpost. Uh, if there's an outpost, your drones are just going to get annihilated and wake up the outpost anyway. So I was using a lot of drones in their previous caves. But not good just yet, I don't think. We do have a missile launcher, a katana. Um, we have a power sword attached. Two extra pieces of armor. Okay, and our current build. Check coverage here. Coverage is mostly flight brick and our piece of armor. Um, improved ion engine. Yeah, if we had to attach this other engine, it would be a little heavy for us. But we also have an, a cannon on, which doesn't have to be on. It's, might as well leave it on now, though, for digging. If we lose that, though, we're not going to have a good way to dig. We'd have to do that with the uh, melee. It's down to 59, and coverage on it is 6%. Hmm, so kind of dangerous. Don't want to get shot, but, you know, that's a flight build for you. Um, we have a shield generator on. Mm, we are net negative on energy when moving. Slightly only, though. Visual processor is pretty crappy. We'd like to replace that, but it's better than nothing, for sure. Especially on flight. Having anything in visual processing is good. Probably should have drawn the mouse point of the stuff I was talking about to help. But yeah, visual process is good. Machine analyzer. We might, maybe we should we should probably get rid of this, actually. Um, whenever you drop into the caves, drop. I mean, this is really useful. We can always get another one later. But um, you usually get rid of stuff like this that's not helpful in the caves. Uh, temporary intel. Machine analyzer will not be helping us, though, for the next uh, few floors. So it's kind of a waste of a slot. But is there anything else we want to put in? I mean, I've only got so much extra space here. We could throw up in a, a terrain scanner, technically. <laughs> I currently have Jimmy 3 and Timmy 2 in my run. <laughs> Two operators. But, uh, you see what you get to by the end, huh? Oh, this is a temp slot. You're right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, as I've always pointing out, right, that's a temp slot, so we can't get rid of that. Um, Got to pay attention to the plus there. Yeah, we can't. There's no point in getting rid of it. It would just waste, uh, be wasted. All right. Um, when we get caught with my Neuralink support. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> that would be a fun way to play, and also in VR. <laughs> Mm, 
Okay, so anyway, oh, we do have a linear accelerator. Uh, matter, we'll use matter and also super heavy, but in an emergency, it could also uh, be a digging cannon. It's gonna watch our matter on that though. We've only got 219, so swapping in and out won't be good. I don't have any spare. If I get three alive at the same time, what should I name the third? Bimmy? <laughs> uh, Robbie? <laughs> oh, that has to be a me though, huh? <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's get a move on. Um, yeah, I don't see anything else we could swap. The only thing I might also want is a terrain scanner might uh, be helpful. Um, overall, a seismic is going to come in clutch here, I think, though. <laughs> I think Robbie, if you can't think of something better than Bimmy. <laughs> Alright, there's the outpost. So we know there's a generator here, which means there's an outpost just to our west. Okay, and there's the outpost. Don't want to get spotted. Oh, whoa. Okay, never. Whoa. Alright, wait. The outpost has got a hole in it. So it's probably down. Hmm. But the generator's still running. Okay. Good. Free stuff then. Oh, a mini drone bay. Oh, wow. Okay, well, we definitely want to use some of this. And a Tesla rifle. Mini drone bay. All right, so let's. Uh, I now that we know this outpost is okay, we can send out a drone. Go drone. And while drone is, oh, that's right. I'm gonna be overweight right now. Mm, what does that get us to? 93. It's okay. We'll move a little slower. It's fine. We're at least moving. I'll leave the drone bay on, and we got factory zone layouts. More scrap. Oh, okay. Found a virus already. Um, he probably hasn't been spotted yet, so I could recall him. I think he hasn't been spotted. Uh, micro actuators. Ooh, kind of nice. Uh, and another katana. Actually, isn't our katana damaged? It is. Ooh, replacement katana. What can I actually do here? Let's see. I don't think there's any good info here. Yeah. Repeated power grid, grid fluctuations. If you see, um, there's an, yeah, see nothing. Heat reaching, <laughs> reaching dangerous levels. Investigating source. So if you, uh, you can get kind of random stuff here. But if you notice, there's an X at the end of them. Whoops. Uh, there's an X at the end of the entries there. Uh, of the the status reports, uh, they'll give you intel and info. So if you hack the ones with an X first, you can get some stuff. A little tip there. All right, so, hmm. oh yeah, but anyway, part of the reason I did this is because I wanted to go for that other drone bay. Mini drone bay, let's, all right, so the swarmers to the west. Yes, hidden door. Don't really want to mess with swarmers. Wait, how much does this thing weigh? This is mass two. It's quite nice, but technically it would still put us overweight, even if we swapped out our current drone bay. E Looks like we're gonna have to pass by those swarmers though. Mm. Oh, thanks for the subscription, Mimic. The brick has taken a beating. Oh, half of it. Hey, Crackle Pappy. Yeah, half the integrity was lost in the first half of the run with the, by attaching a single prototype. So, uh, blame chat. <laughs> Not something I would normally want to do with a valuable part like this. Radbanger keeps smiling over here. <laughs> yeah, otherwise, flight breaks should last a while, really most of the run. Especially if you're going for a W0 and you, it can last the entire thing. It's it's a pretty good support item for that. Don't blame this part of chat. <laughs> hey, Alara. <laughs> I advised against it. Well, yeah, I knew it was a bad idea. But, you know, it's, it introduces um, more uncertainties, right? All right, I'm gonna actually send out our drone again. Mainly because we're overweight while here and he can take a different route. But I do need to be a little careful about him dragging enemies back to us. Maybe he can find an alternative route over there. What are you doing? All right, all right, yeah, he found a way around. Huh, okay. Oh, but if I, I won't know if he dies. Yeah, that's okay, we'll get over there quickly. Oh, but I'd rather have a mini drone, though. Hmm. 
Would you have the heat sink for an emergency? I'm just saying if there's anything else we actually don't need. We kind of need all our stuff, though. All right, in that case, I'm just going to let him explore that. What's so special about it besides the slots it takes up? Uh, the br the flight brick? Yeah, the flight brick. No, it gives us th temporary slots. If you notice, we have pluses next to three of our utility slots. Uh, those are all because we have this attached. It's incredibly good. Not to mention any flight unit, anything that allows you to fly, which also has high integrity. Even though it has high coverage, that's actually a good thing because it protects your other stuff. So it's it's quite a good part. I'm leaving this other drone over there, because if the swarmers come here, it'll tell me. <laughs> Alright, we know there's a log up there now. Okay, see? There we go. Shh. <laughs> How do you follow the drones? If you press enter, uh, it automatically cycles through all the things you can control uh, the FOV of, so all your drones. <laughs> I love flight stuff. I feel like Snell Snake. It does. I, A lot of people don't realize that about Cogmine until they start playing that it's actually a stealth game. <laughs> you can play full stealth, but even if you're combat, you often want to do in some amount of stealth. If you can you can do full combat, it's doable, but it's there's a high high skill threshold for that because it's fairly easy to get yourself killed. But you can, it's doable, as people do. Um, you know, even when I, when I play combat, I try to avoid combat and you know, I'm happy to kill stuff, but uh, more happy to stay alive. So if you notice what I did there, um, I, uh, I, I dropped my drone bay, which means the drone to the, got disconnected and killed by the swarmers. But I did that because uh, that allows us to escape to the north, uh, I hope without getting spotted. There we go. So the swarmers should be down there now. And we have... I don't have to fight them now. They shouldn't be a problem anymore. Stealth treads are funny just on the premise. Stealth treads is fun! <laughs> um... Yeah, Lyra said, Lyra's pointing out, even melt every floor combat makes extensive use of high stealth. Yeah, I mean, you, you would need to stay stealthy for some parts of what you're doing, for sure, even if you're trying to blow everything up. You need to get set up for it, and you don't want to be always fighting everything. That just goes into the alert spiral. And you either need to run, or, um, run. <laughs> run or die. <laughs> Seems like anyone with any alert mechanism is secretly a stealth game. Yeah, probably. I think one of the differences and one of the main things that I like about um, that Kaguya manages to do is, um, uh, you know, it has a, ties a lot of mechanics into that. Just the hacking and the spotting and all the types of intel you can have, and many layers of intel. Um, so, you know, you, you don't just want to have the stealth mechanics and just hide it. You want to be able to support it with all the other systems, right? All right, so anyway, Swarm is gone. And now we have a new drum bay. So, well, let's send him around the corner to find out what's up ahead. And we're now fast again. So here's our old drone right there. You can see him right here. He's unconnected, so drone can't do anything because I dropped the bay, but we've got a new bay to replace it, so. So if you press enter, if you just press enter, the enter is the key for centering on yourself, but it also allows you to follow drones like this. We can follow his view, but I'm not going to follow him just yet. He's close enough that I can see what he's up to, and I want to do my own thing. So he is going to kind of walk up ahead and see what's out there. All right, uh, there's a remote force field. Reaction control, I guess this is something that flight type builds use. I'm not a f normally a flight person, so i got to pay more attention to parts. <laughs> this seems like it could be good. Um, I mean, actually, what is it? Our current avoidance is 63. Not amazing. Hey, Desenim. Thanks. 
Hello, Nebula. Nebula. RCS pretty good. Yeah, I know. It seems it sh I should probably use RCS. I gotta would have to swap something else in for it though. Yeah, let's see. We still have a hacking suite. I should probably keep at least one hacking suite around. <laughs> Uh, I guess technic. Oh no, I can't get rid of the targeting computer. All these free slots faking me out. Um, I got to ignore those because whatever, I'm not going to be able to replace them. So uh, reaction control. I would at least put in my inventory and in replacement for. Actually, maybe I can get rid of the heatsink now. We don't actually need that heatsink. I'm going to get rid of the heatsink. We're not going to fight anything with that. We have a melee now, so goodbye heatsink. And uh, I will pick this up. Whoops. Pick you up. There we go. The storage unit. <laughs> we really need a basic VPU. Yeah, I mean, well, uh, first of all, it's, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I love it. I love having, uh, I prefer to be better. I was mentioning earlier in the stream when we first started, I need a better one, but I, I like having the, the view. It makes me feel safer <laughs> in open areas. I much prefer to get a better one, though. Where are you going, drone? Don't go that way. Get back over here. He's gonna go back towards the swarmers, and I don't really care what's in that direction, so. Ooh. Well, there's a thing to the north, but it's probably not helpful. Alright, we found where negative five factory is. That was a mystery. Oh. No, oh, there is more direction over here. You, drone, go around the corner. Yep, okay. Well, our drone found something. <laughs> Might as well check the cache. It could be bad stuff in there. Eh, not usually, though. That would be kind of annoying. Anyway, alright, there's bad guys around the corner. So, uh, I'd, using that very helpful. Mini drones die quite, uh, die quite fast. Yeah, oh well, I, don't, I wouldn't expect any drones to really survive. There's a transmission jammer. That's actually good. And trap scanners. Oh, there's surprisingly good stuff in here. Transmission jammer. Makeshift transmission jammer. Yeah, I don't have room to carry stuff, though. Uh, what is it? Five energy on this one for five mass. That's true. Yeah. <clears throat> Advanced drones are definitely tankier. In that. That's true. The cool thing about mini drones is the bay weighs nothing, so it's pretty good for uh, keeping attached on a flight build. All right, so make, uh, transmission chamber is actually pretty decent on flight. I guess I could drop a piece of armor. Um, layered medium. What have I got now? I'm using a current. Our current armor is a mass of three. Hmm. Medium has good coverage, but 188 could probably get rid of that one. Take one of these jammers, even though I'm not using it now. <laughs> Would probably make sense though. Odd question: Are leg props long and spindly like Spidertron, or short shufflers like Dunk Droids? Eh. Well, in Cogmind, you, there's always a number of questions about you know how big is Cogmind? What what's it look like? What what are how you know what do all these parts actually look like in reality and and how they function other than you know you can check out the ASCII art but uh, in terms of the details it's always up to your imagination it's intentionally not described Cogmind is one tile big obviously see Cat++ Plus Plus knows what's up <laughs> alright drone do it tell me what's around this corner the other corner was not a good corner although actually the exits are right over there hmm well we can see if we can circle around to the exit or not uh oh enemies um I, uh, oh, that was a nice misfire all right let's hope this guy's not dragging stuff back towards me it's probably not so the swarm is it looks like both these ways are, are uh, guarded <sighs> uh, do you internally have a cannon for these things um only sort of I mean I have I have I would I would say not cannon I'd say I had to have something personally that I imagine but I imagine it as a player, you know, I'm not necessarily um, design-wise and trying to fit that, but um, there, there's still no absolute cannon, though. <laughs> I do have, hey, wait, wait, I do have a cannon, see? It's a neutron cannon. <laughs> Robbie has joined the family, says Red Banker. Got a third one, huh? At the same time? <laughs> 
even more one operator is already plenty good as an ally two is still good um you know good luck keeping both alive but then three is building a whole army there huh <laughs> Yeah, not taking account when it's designing though. Yeah, when in design terms, it's all just it's all in internally relative is just what I go for. You know, it doesn't have to be based on hundred percent on uh, actual uh, reality though. Yeah, exactly. Diminishing returns, backups. Yeah, true. Although the more allies you have, technically, when you do bad stuff, the more your alert can go up. So there's that working against you. But they're also not combat allies, which means they don't have as much of an impact in that regard. Plus, you're not also doing a bunch of stuff that would drive up alert in the first place. Alright, so we have, um, apparently both of these ways have enemies, which means uh, there's not a lot I can do unless I go through one of them. Uh, one option would be to see if there's a dig in the middle. Uh, around the edges is a lot less likely here. Theoretically... Um, you see how there's space to the south here in the middle there. It probably doesn't go around. What we can do is scan a bit, see if anything appears, see what appears. I should stick, stick to a spot that's not going to get jumped by swarmers, though. This is—I don't have a good angle or distance, but anyway, do a little bit of scanning. Oh, by the way, kids, did you hear about the drone fiasco in MTF stream? Thought you'd appreciate that. I did not. Um, what is the drone fiasco? <clears throat> is it something I need to patch out? <laughs> or in, or what? What is the drone fiasco? He released all the drones. Oh, in, on like, on, where, in storage or something? Or where? Oh, one took out a tracker. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how did... He released a dozen advanced drones. How did it take out a tracker? Did they kill themselves somehow? He opened 20 drones at a request. And it brought everybody back to him in research. <laughs> okay, there you go. Got a heavy to shoot an explosive machine that took out a tracker. There you go. Hey, releasing lots of drones is, can be a bad and a good thing. Usually a bad thing, but... <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> I like that. Hey, Salamander. Welcome back. <laughs> Making macaroni and cheese. Again? <laughs> he had to telly out after a million guys showed up? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> oh, man. that That's good. Good job, chat. <laughs> All right. Um, so anyway, I gotta decide where to go. If I, going north actually is probably worse. I don't know. The swarmers are really annoying, but we can launch them if we have to. But hmm. let's see. The other swarmers are way over there probably now. So I could go back around south at least to get a bead on the others. All right. Uh, yeah, I don't need that hmm. little nook in here. I don't have any kind of sensors. One of the things I'm using drones for intel, but without sensors, actual robot sensors. Oh, hello there. It's uh, kind of hard to spot stuff and avoid it. Well, a lot of flight players would need to be using sensors, right? Not me. No sensors, no FARCOM. Just flight. Okay, there they are. They're up to the north side there. They're not, they don't use, they don't, uh, aren't really good at partial spots, so. It looks like, though, we're not going to be able to go south. Uh, they're a little close. I'd have to get lucky and let them not see me and I pass by. But yeah, we're headed northwest here. We have a clear 20 south path of swarmers. Yeah, we do. Um, but now they're up there going around. Coming from this this side was okay, though. But I have to wait and see if they're going to go the other way. And one, one thing you can do is use a drone to lead them off somewhere else. But it doesn't. It's hard to. I don't know which way they'd be going. So I guess I could just wait here for a bit. See what happens. Wait up. Oh, okay, they're coming this way. That's not good. I guess I could just launch them then. Mm hmm. Hmm. Trying to find a way around these guys. There might be a way through here actually if they're going south, but it's kind of tough. I have to wait for my train scanner to tell me enough info. Mm, there's some info to the west there. 
it's pretty far. Yeah, we can see now the cave edges here. So that's actually like a five tile dig to get through. And then you're still right next to the swarmers anyway. So not exactly advantageous. Well, we do know that to the east here, there's a uh, derelict, which means that those other swarmers haven't come back because they would shoot them. <laughs> Could run by the thugs. It's true. Yeah, actually, we could. Uh, the thing is, they'll they'll still shoot at us. Swarmers are nice because at least we can kill them. But yeah, maybe that's a good idea. Actually, this is just run by them. Oh, so I should watch my power. We're going down a little bit when we're moving. All right. Uh, these guys are probably fine to run by. Actually, they can't chase us. Brick time. Yeah, that's brick for you. Right. There they are. Okay. There's only one that's awake right now. Not only that, but they're not even. They're just all short range guys. Look at that. He can't even do anything. Okay, here's one. Oh, we do still have to go south, though. That's not bad. Okay, anyway, we're going to run right by them. <laughs> I didn't actually get a good look at what the drone saw. <laughs> not bad at all. Swarmers are gone. We're gone. We're over here now. Just watch us get ambushed going into the next map. Oh, hello there. Oh, he's on the move. Hello there. <laughs> <laughs> nice here he comes you can see him down there flight good yeah flight is pretty cheesy isn't it all right let's see um so we're going in the next floor we do not want to get jumped probably gonna get jumped anyway uh actually i guess it, that would mean uh, let's see i put on the train scanner instead of train scanner we should drop in wait what did i swap out for that oh the drone bay right it could put back on the drone bay just as armor or the um rcs as long as it's not going to put us overweight or anything it's probably fine so rcs is probably a good uh, a good move for now let's do that um don't normally go this direction um it's kind of fun i like it it works and uh, we're gonna swap out our ter uh, terrain scanner there. So now we got our RCS. Our avoidance will be decent if we're running for our lives from, are we gonna get ambushed or not? The answer is, the answer is ASCII. ASCII for a moment. No, not ambushed, okay. Gonna move around just a little bit here. Just to get an idea of what's really close, because I'm okay. There's the factory exit. Yeah, I think mainly because I'm thinking about uh, oh, got movement to the south. Finally, some seismic activity. Um, that is probably a derelict. That's my guess. I'm guessing derelict. We're gonna find out though. Go find out what that is. Okay, that's a derelict. Okay, you can come back now. We're gonna go west. Oh, there's another one, probably also derelict. <clears throat> How many points for ASCII more than a moment? You don't need points for that. There you go. Um, <clears throat> oh, even because that's for the RCS, I always leave it on and end it early. <laughs> well, I'd rather not get shot at all, but mm, coming in there. I think I'd go insane if I left the map transitions on. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, exactly. Like Leo Boy says, it's, it's a chance to take a breath. Some of the things are in Cogmind intentionally there to slow you down just a bit at the right times. But, I mean, that's obviously also for thematic reasons. But at the same time, um, I mean, yeah, it's optional. So, how many bonus points on the score sheet for asking the whole run? <laughs> But it's true, yeah. If you if you want to, you can always just hit escape. You just press a press a key, and it'll skip past the uh, animation if you want to. If you want to speed it up. But anyway, yeah, we'll play an ASCII for just a little while here. All right, let's let our drone explore. Go drone. Okay, that's not the way I want you to go. But okay, now you're still going the wrong way. All right, come on. Drones will always explore the nearest unexplored area to them. So you can actually control a drone's explore direction. Uh, a lot of people I know don't realize that or think about that how that works um, if you watch their behavior so see I'm calling him back now and if I'm closer here to the west side which is where I want to explore and I tell him to explore now I think we should be close enough he'll go west instead so you can actually keep calling your drones back and using them to explore areas you want them to go so our little N is the drone there 
for the non ASCII knowers. It's more or less the same. Oh, shoot. Okay, we have a little bit of a problem up ahead. Whoa! Wait a minute, did I just do that? Um. No, crushing. Who, what? <laughs> How do you get crushed? An ARC deployed over there? Oh, okay. Really? Oh, was it a bonk point? Okay. Yeah. Oh, I did. It did sound like that sound. It happened around the corner. Good thing it didn't happen on top of me then. But yeah, it makes sense. Didn't get to see it. Actually, I guess you could also check the combat logs. That's something I'm normally checking there. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You can see in the combat log. Um, it was just around the corner, like right around the corner from us. <laughs> that guy got blasted. Okay. And he got the nice little question marks there in the combat log, which is cool. That's a new thing that came in uh, beta 13. So you can actually see that there was an attack there. Uh, but you don't know who it was. So that was added. But yeah, that guy got uh, obliterated. 11 batteries destroyed. <laughs> wow. Um, that seems dangerous. <laughs> Runeo would cry. <laughs> Oh, man. All right. Okay, so yeah, there's an ARC behind us with some slow stuff in it. There's a behemoth just to the west. I should probably... Uh, let's see. Let's uh, comment that here. There's a behemoth over here. Behemoth. Don't go that way. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess we'll go north then. All right, there. We can see them over there. Yeah, moving around now from the ARC. All right, we are at a dead end here, for now. And you know what you can do with that behemoth, that's right, run by. Eh, yeah, you can, you can totally do that. <laughs> um, let's see, I uh, want to put in, I guess I can put in, take off my armor real quick. Oh shoot, I should have stopped the drone actually. I meant to, I meant to have him stop over there. Here, go over there, there you go. Just to keep a lookout. Keep a lookout, drone. I am going to wait right here and look at... Oh yeah, here we go. Just to the west of us. It looks like there's a way through. There we go. Alright. That's what I needed to know. Put our armor back on. And tell our drone to head right through that hole. Go, drone, go. Okay, yeah. There's our behemoth friend. Can he see you? Hmm. Probably not. We're good. I want to make sure he doesn't die over there <laughs> by moving in just the actual accidental wrong direction there. All right, now you can explore again. Go, go, go. Oh, are we in a dead end area? Shoot. I've been doing other things recently, but man, flight is awesome. Does flight does allow you to do some pretty fun, tricky stuff? All right, so there's now the behemoths over there. Eh. Oh, we got somebody to south. Uh, what could that be? A, that's probably a derelict, though. Is he gonna get? There must be walls between him and the behemoth. Yeah, there's probably a derelict to the south, though. All right, let's uh, swap out again. We'll get back to the complex before too long. Uh, I'm not seeing anything on the other side of this wall just yet. A lot of earth. A lot of earth. A whole lot of earth. Oh, whoop, there's a wall. Nope, that's earth. <laughs> okay, well, dang. It looks like we have to run by the behemoth. Or find another way all the way to the south. I don't really want to get shot by a behemoth. That's bad. I mean, you can do it. We got flight break, but the thing is, I have to be extra safe because the flight break got annihilated earlier. But yeah, it looks like we can't go south. Okay, that's the answer down there. No going south. Also, got to watch our matter. Okay, so the behemoth is over there. Um, shoot. No, I really don't want to get shot by that guy, but that's a long way back. Hmm. It'll still work for now, though.
yeah, I'd prefer to not be doing flight, but I went with what this run gave us, so we're doing flight. But also, I do believe, uh, yeah, next run is going to be something else. ECM. Oh, matter. I kind of want to do a riff run. They take longer, but they're fun. Oh, okay, there's our enemies. Range on them is 17. Shoot, there's a dead end down here, isn't it? Mm, I guess we could try to train scanning down here. Good partial spot the behemoth and go around. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's an idea. Yeah, I don't I don't usually think of these flight strategies. That's that's definitely doable. Not something I would normally do with any other build, but uh, looks like there's a way to the west here, but it's kind of far. <laughs> might also even going this way you might may and it's probably not likely i was gonna say you might still have to pass by the hubris anyway hubris tunnel oh we must pass through the hubris tunnel <laughs> you gave it such a good name <laughs> nice little warning for us and oof, heart rate goes back down again there we go okay okay we're back through and uh, hopefully there's, there's no way around here. God damn it. <laughs> okay, we can get through this wall, though, it looks like, from the uh, data. There's something to the southwest, though, but that's probably a derelict, right? Oh, shoot. Yeah, that's that's why I had the heat sink earlier, is if I have to fire this cannon for any length of time, we overheat. But actually, wait, was that that's corruption, too, that added to that? That's why it got up even faster. Pretty sure this is derelict. Could find out in advance with our drone. Oh, okay, now I know it's a derelict. <laughs> okay, I know it's a derelict, and we know that, uh, and there's this, he's got a view on this spot right here. Just don't go over there. That's too bad. I actually want that matter. Like, I wouldn't mind 26 more matter. Freaking corruption's gonna really mess us up, though. No! <laughs> uh... Clope says, I used a funny alien artifact to teleport across a very long Hubris channel today. It was great. Yeah, that is that is an awesome artifact. Uh, very awesome. Oh, shoot, there's Swarmers. Oh, yeah, I forgot to switch back off. <laughs> I should switch off ASCII mode, perhaps. I mean, really, in, in the caves, there's not a massive difference because there's only so much stuff out here that's different, you know? So I think in caves, it's probably one of the best places to use ASCII overall. I mean, for people who aren't as used to it. But I, to me, they look the same, so I don't even... Didn't realize I was in ASCII mode. I should probably switch out of that for most people. ASCII is superior everywhere, but especially here. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, I'm a fan, but I shouldn't stream in ASCII just because most people don't get it. Plus, people be dropping in the stream like, "What the hell is this?" Although that might be keep people interested. <laughs> I don't know. Not important anyway. But okay, it looks like uh, we're headed south. Uh, shoot, how far away was that dude? Okay, they're not coming yet. Alright, looks like south is the way out of here though. Yep, connecting to the south. Oh, I should probably get back to droning. Go drone, go. Okay, it's looking safe. Ah, derelicts, I love seeing derelicts. It means we're safe. It means we're safe. Not that way, you can come back over here now, thank you. All right, matter too. Thank you for the matter. All right, got in, out, got through here unscathed. More matter to pick up. Look at this place. There's just matter everywhere. All right, need a tractor beam. Although we're so fast, we're like the tractor beam ourselves, right? There's a lot of derelicts still alive over here. spike there uh, wow yep lots of little bits of matter but yeah it looks like this whole uh, western section is actually safe and we get to find out where we're going let's see uh, oh, Warlord would be nice I haven't done anything that would piss Warlord off 
Mm. All right, then before we leave, I am going to. Oh, I don't have that on anymore. Hmm. It's going to say put on the RCS, I guess. Yeah. All right. In that case, we're going to grab this guy. Oh wait, I don't need that though. We're headed into. We're in upper caves, so it's not going to matter. All right, you come back. We're in level two. This is our current location. Boom. Warlord forever. Zion too. <laughs> All right. Oh, I appreciate asking for the roots of the roguelike, but if you have good tiles that generally understand or don't get why you don't use them, oh, pff. I mean, ASCII is just easier to parse. Uh, it's faster. Not only cooler, but it's also faster. You can parse this uh, and other ASCII much faster than uh, the tiles. Just extra pixels that don't need. That would be a personal take anyway. Obviously other people would have their own, but I think in the end that's pretty much what most uh, roguelike, traditional roguelike fans who still use ASCII even when there's tiles options uh, will go for. It's just easier. Warlord is forever. I don't know, I parse tiles and where you tell me. <laughs> uh, well, once you know it though, right? Once you know them, I parse whatever I'm more familiar with. Uh, we have six percent corruption. Finally got rid of that. Warlord Gaming murdered them all. <laughs> no way. Time to dig. That is true. Uh, so that's not. I, I haven't been here in a while, but. Hello, Fire Trap. Now at least I won't set that off. Sorry, guys, I destroyed your uh, doors here. <laughs> you also vote for murder. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm in a big murder build right now. <laughs> that's, that's me. <laughs> What? You don't know how much digging I do the average Walmart face? How much digging is that? The optimal amount of digging? Okay. Oimika's gonna, gonna make me change the digging rules in Warlord's base. I'll make a note of that. <laughs> I don't mean take it out the doors either. You would be allowed to take out of the doors, but if it's up, what do you guys like digging? Tell me. What are you digging? Just <laughs> W with engines and chuck in some EM launchers. You'll send me a screenshot. Okay, I'm quite curious what you're digging. I mean, you could just explain it real quick. What would you dig besides the door, right? What else are you doing? I mean, if you're just digging a, f a few things at the entrance, I don't consider that optimal tedium. It's an advantage, yeah, but like what I just did there, it takes no time at all. It's easy right at the entrance. But I mean, the, the thing you're describing sounds like you're like digging out whole routes and stuff. It's more than that? Hmm. But the entrance is just the main thing. But I'm curious uh, what else you're digging, if it's a lot. And yeah, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say digging's not possible. Just like in, in uh, it's just like Zion. I mean, in Zion, you can destroy a few things, but if you start to destroy a lot of stuff, they're gonna get pissed. So, I mean, it could be, it could easily be like that. I'm just curious why we need that. Um, I've never heard of this before. Uh, it never used to be a thing anyway. But now, uh, hey, if you're gonna mention it, I will uh, look into removing it for you. <laughs> All right, let's see how we move. We're with 31. Our speed's good. <sighs> Helpful to whack the corners off the blast doors. Uh, somewhat it could be, yeah. I mean, optimal. Are we even staying for the fight? I mean, you can you get out before? I guess can you get? Out? I guess you, I'm not even sure. I don't normally come here on flight, so I mean, I don't normally play flight period, but. When flight, I just go back door. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's kind of what the back door is there for. Prototype device times eight. <laughs> this an, as an anonymous gift for Warlord, but it's so heavy. What if it's a trap? <laughs> There's an eight slot utility. 
We know what that is. I can't fit that. <laughs> this is... It's, it's pretty good, though. If you don't screw it up. It's a trap. <laughs> a crab drone. There he is. Someone was just using him the other day to annihilate everything. Um, this guy doesn't give us anything we need, does he? What does he give us? Um, uh, basic intel. This is lore guy, I think, huh? Yeah, it's all lore guy. Okay. Hmm, I guess I could collect some lore. I just keep escaping out of the lore, though. Hope to do. Oh, so we found. Boom. The lab, if we want something from the lab, which we probably do. Get some Vortex uh, stuff. Mainly the Vortex uh, weapons, um, melee stuff. Oh, I'm running low on energy on it. What else am I running? I don't need a seismic detector. Not How much does that take? Yeah, it's a little bit. Do we have any spare propulsion? I have no spare propulsion. Wow, that seems annoying. Oh, my ion engine. What the hell? Oh, it got shut off earlier. No wonder. What the heck? I was not paying attention to that. Warlord has spare prop. <laughs> anyway, so we're just going like, to explore around this base, see if we can find anything interesting. I don't think we could use some allies, I guess. That would, that's a, kind of a nice find overall. Seeing kids play with flight makes me question my sanity. <laughs> eh, I don't play flight. I just play and happen to have flight. <laughs> oh, I got my power sword repaired. Oh, what else do they want to repair? Nothing. I don't know. I have a shield generator I could repair. I've got a mechanic chasing us around here repairing stuff for us. If I wanted to, you could repair the shield generator. I don't. It's not exactly amazing anymore. And it'll probably get replaced, but sure, why not? Alright, where are we going here? Oh, there's more stuff to the north. Whoops. Me skipping on stuff. Skipping lore. What do you got in here? Ooh, Falx. Uh, also a self-destruct interrupter. Not that I probably need that, but Falx we can take. Oh, let's see. Oh, that's right, we do have a spare katana as well. Hmm. Falx, though, is pretty heavy. But we would certainly replace a katana with it at the very least. But I can't tell if we're going to grab something else yet. Grab one of those, though. Hello there. Anything in here? Nope, just more friends. Neutron cannon, too? What about neutron cannon? More space to the south. Alright, so the lab is there. It's nice being able to move around on a flight and not worry too much. Oh, the neutron is it can be repaired? I mean, I already had it attached, so it's already been repaired. Power shielding, beam caster. Oh, whoops. Yep, you guys did wrong. <laughs> Alright. A lot of guys going on, hanging around in here. Yeah, send me the screenshot in uh, Discord. I am a guy. Unless it warrants, like, discussion right now, but uh, I guess we can do it on Discord later. Actually, wait a minute, what the hell's Warlord? Uh, 
Oh, there's a whole spot over here. Okay, there he is. He's up at the front. I was going to say I missed that one. Uh, let's see. Unless you want to take notes for right now. Nah, I mean, I'll just take it out later. I can use your strat. <laughs> uh, I already wrote down the note. So. Um, Alright, yeah, I guess we can go over here now. And check out what's in the lab and then go say hi to him and then leave. And the exit is most on the south side as well. Oh, the, 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 the back way out is on the south side. That's actually not as good to take. Hmm. But we're so fast, it's not going to matter anyway. Alright, what do we got here? Just energy cannons? Oh, there's nothing in here. No! I mean, these aren't terrible, but that's not actually good for us. I need to, perhaps, melee version would be nicer. Automod doesn't eat that link. It's probably because, I mean, because, um, approved, Lyra. Um, you, if you're approved, you can get post links. You're not approved! No, I think I added you, didn't I? After that. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I'm not sure. Uh, I can check, though. I am checking. Uh... Nope, you're not added to that list yet. But now you're on it. Wait, what? I think you are. Why is it? Sorry, I haven't used this for a while. You're on that list, uh-huh. Eh, why is it saying user not found? Oh, whoops, I spelled it wrong. <laughs> I forgot, you're using a different name here. <laughs> there we go. Now I think you should be on there. Now you're on the list. Yeah. I put in the wrong name for you a second ago. So now you're on that list. Anyway. But yeah, it, it blocks all links unless you're on the list. Redeem 30,000 points for the throw of the run. Why would I want to throw the run? I mean, <laughs> so just end the run and then do a riff ride? Yeah, I like that idea actually. <laughs> Flight is. Mm, I want to make a mess of things, not avoid making a mess of things. Anyway, I guess we're going to leave those there. Uh. I heard it. You heard it here first. Destin him said he wanted me to do a run like a riff run. Yes, I'm going to grab this lore real quick. Announcement. Yes, okay. Let's go say hi. Get out of here. Hello, everybody. Front door. Warlord's got his place over here by the front door. I like you, Cogmind. Okay, good. Glad you like me. Not liking me. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, I got the code. Oh, yeah. I got the code. Hmm, completely forgets about code. Hope you have permission. Of course I have permission. Ah. Prototype flight unit. Oh, whoops. That was dumb. Yes, that was a smarter way to do that. Oh. Electron Diverter. That's not actually super helpful, is it? Hmm. Better than what I had, though. Big Stash. Yes. Big Stash. Code for the weakest blast doors in the game. <laughs> what about going Flight Riff? Yeah, Friff. <laughs> riff is so bad, MTF have replaced it with CRM. <laughs> MTF just never liked Rift to begin with, even though, it, despite how good it is, Rift is so good. Prototype hackware. Hmm. Prototype processor. I don't actually know what the processor is. Reactor. We'd never be able to support that. It's nice, but prototype device. I don't. I don't know what that one is. Optics. Oh, it could be optics. Oh, this one here next to us. Uh, yeah, I don't remember actually the stuff in here. We got a couple devices. I guess you can check what they are. Um. Extra heat from diverters, though. We're actually a little hot on this build if we move around. That's not good, huh? Processor is either good or immediately ripped off our body. Really? Hmm. Well, I'll have to replace something with it anyway, but don't have a lot of slots. I've got the visual processing unit, but to be honest, I really do want to keep that. I mean, unless I can replace that. I don't know what the processor can be, but. I guess I can find out what the others are first. Uh, but this is actually going to be hot. I need cooling if I'm going to use this. Rather than the biomechanical wings were awesome because they don't get hot, right? 
Eh, too much crap in here. Oh, let's see. Probably gonna get rid of our seismic detector then. Good, I mean better visual. But you can slide in over the RCS before deciding. Oh. Well, oh, that's an interesting idea. Okay, all right. Well, we'll, we'll cheat here and use this some bit of knowledge. Um, but yeah, I was definitely gonna remove something here to find out what it is. It is an experimental targeting computer, which I do not need and I'm going to rip off right now because I already have one and uh, I have a targeting computer, but I'm not gonna waste a slot on targeting when I don't really need targeting. Device could be cooling. Uh, maybe an energy mantle. And the other one here is a coolant injector, experimental. Hmm. Well, I mean, it's good. <laughs> I don't think I actually need it, but it's good. And there's prototype hackware. <laughs> Maybe this game is great. I wonder who developed it. Yeah, Destinim is right. Probably a big nerd. A mega nerd. <laughs> Probably spent like 10 years on it. Oh my god. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Energy mantle is actually kind of nice, but we can't run it. We're not going to have a lot of energy. Shield generator is still, even though I don't know if I'll actually be using it, it's kind of a backup thing. I need to start thinking of what of my backups are, are too many backups for certain things we don't need backups for. We do need the RCS. We need uh, not taking reactors. So basically, yeah, hackware is obviously good for us. We need to take that, but I need to use it now. I'm going to get rid of our spare seismic and uh, take this prototype hackware. Uh, hackware might replace the basic hacking suite. Yeah, maybe. I'm thinking of may trying, maybe just taking it in inventory for later. Um, we could replace the current one if we're gonna have more, at least two slots though later. Maybe just keep the one we have now. I think it'll work. Okay, so then the remainder just becomes what do we do with these? Uh, um, I'm gonna actually have to grab that again too. But what do we do with these uh, remaining flight units here? Uh, I'm tempted to drop the linear accelerator. For an extra piece of armor or a shield generator. Hmm. Too much stuff. We've got to decide what to keep. And for me, it's kind of hard though because I don't normally play this sort of build, so I don't have preferences so much. So I end up dropping stuff that's going to be useful uh, sometimes. Hmm. I think I'll drop the shield generator. I kind of want the extra cannon for digging, though. Not sure you're ever wearing medium plating. The thing is, I mean, it fits. Uh, it's true. I was I was wondering about that too. It's kind of heavy. It's got good coverage, but I mean, the thing is, we have the cannon on, and if I wanted to, we can so we can just take the cannon off and put on the armor, so it still works. Shield gen and train scanner. Yeah, the train scanner is less useful. It's been useful though so far. But I was thinking, first thing I would drop is definitely the yeah the uh, shield generator. We've got enough of this stuff, but I kind of want to keep the armor just... Uh, I mean, we need some of the other defensive thing. Well, we don't have to, but I mean, RCS also counts there, too. Um, Alright, and so we have one extra slot here. And to be honest, it, we can't really run these electron diverters. <laughs> So why don't you usually play fight? Because I want to destroy things and make a mess, and flight doesn't do that. <laughs> I mean, flight's good, but uh, it's just not my style. Uh, it's not what I want to be doing. But I'm running with it for the flight bricks, as I've mentioned from the beginning. So it's, it's always interesting, and you get to do some cool stuff when you play flight. It's just not my style. I'm not, you're just not playing flight right then? Uh, no. If you, What are you talking about? <laughs> Flight is not going to be destroying like 50 bots every floor. That's what I'm doing. I mean, maybe you could do it with the right stuff, but uh, like uh, guided things and whatnot. But I don't, flight is not playing like that. Let's see, we've got one extra only. So I can't actually fit anything else on here. Mini smart bone, definitely. Yeah, possible. Uh, it's doable, but it's not something flight normally does. You don't cause trouble uh, just for that. Not a, you're not a believer in sterilization of flight. <laughs> so, yeah, I kind of want to take this diverter as well. Because um, it's good. But the thing is, I can't run it until we get some... Also have some cooling, like active constant cooling. 
Um, you could drop the terrain scanner. I kind of liked it for finding. See, the whole terrain scanner was the whole reason. Like you know, so you saw in the caves, terrain scanner allowed me to more easily find multiple digs, uh, which would not have been discovered otherwise. I, I, well, I could they could have been found through random digging, um, but it would take a while and uh, be less confident. And the reason I'm carrying this extra Falx is in case I go actually do need like to attack with two melee weapons, like as an actual. I actually have to fight some stuff, but maybe that's not. I don't know. Maybe I can also consider it a spare because shouldn't really be fighting that much stuff. In which case, I could almost get rid of the linear accelerator instead. Scavenger Sprinter. Yeah, that's uh, that was uh, again. That's a. Um, that's a feature from an old Cogmind event, which I left in the game because people kind of like it. It's kind of it's not really in theme though, so it's not on by default. Um, it's something you have to activate manually. Uh, which turned out to be kind of a fun thing and it became sort of a part of the official game, even though it's not in theme. So again, I don't like to be there. Must have. Hmm. It's one of the more asked about advanced options, it's true, Emiko, but I mean, part of the reason is because it's so prominent there. It should be standard? No, I don't want it to be standard, though. It has to be something that you uh, put on later. Especially since it's not something that even makes a whole lot of sense to newer players. Um, I mean, it's interesting for sure, and something I think most uh, regular players will want to activate, especially, you know, after you, it's even reported in your score sheet, uh, became an official part of that, not just as part of the event. But it's not something I want to be on by default, even if it's asked about. There's a lot of things that are asked about that really you want... There's a lot of things in Cogmine, option-wise, that you want to turn on after you've been playing for a while. But they're not on initially. so, And it's very intentional. That is one of many of them. But that's why the advice... And the tutorial also does remind that you need to look at the... You really should look into the all the advanced options. After you've been playing for a while, the tutorial will pop up again and suggest that. Even though, obviously, some people are going to miss it, but... It does suggest that. Uh, speaking of unused features, challenge modes, when do people remember they exist? Eh, I'm going to remove all the challenge mode achievements, so they will be less and less obvious. <laughs> Those were added in an, in an older time. Okay, so anyway, back to actually focusing on what I'm doing here. Electron diverter. If I'm going to carry this, I need to drop something, and it's probably worth carrying. I'm just going to need to end up more cooling to use it. How much of these things are heat plus three? Hmm. <laughs> Nebula. There are challenge modes? <laughs> oh, drop your improved ion. It doesn't fit, right? Uh, uh, yeah. The our light angular is pretty heavy. Um, otherwise, yeah, that would be an idea for sure. Something else to get rid of. Yeah, it'd be one over. It's always interesting how flight gets so close in terms of uh, mass. I mean, technically, let's see, yeah, that can't, other cannon's even heavier. I don't know. I could, I think I should drop the linear accelerator, probably. We could get a replacement cannon if we lose the one we have now, but if you look at it, whoops, if you look at it, our coverage on the cannon is kind of high. It's going to go after it hits it a couple times, but we shouldn't get shot that much. Maybe I could drop the linear accelerator. How does one diverter work over the field propulsion drive? Oh, yeah, there's that too, but, uh, um, yeah, I'm not actually sure about the cost of those, but that's a good uh, good point. You can check uh, the... Actually, I should check the field propulsion drive first. Field propulsion... No, I can't do that way. Uh, electron diverter compared to the uh, field propulsion here is... Uh, hmm. Yeah, wait, uh, it's, a, it's just a tiny bit hotter. Oh, it's also... Oh, plus... Uh, mm -hmm, it'd be faster, too. Oh, we'd also lose one of our support, though. Oh, no, we gain a support. Never mind. Going backwards. Hmm, that's possible. Also, we're getting the base is getting attacked, and we're sitting here looking at stuff. Let me look at our stat changes here. Energy drain is a bit more significant. Hmm, four point one for moving. We're already going down. Yeah, I don't like that. Our build is not quite ready to support these things. Oh, now you can fit the engine. Oh, okay, I see what you mean. Yeah. Oh, that's also going to up our heat though. Um, by one extra hmm. I think no matter what we're going to be right on the edge and dealing with some problems our heat's going up a little 
and we're not running anything else that's generating heat. So eh, it's not that significant though, it is still okay. All right. All right, that's good enough. Then we can drop, we should be able to drop this engine. We shouldn't lose an engine. If we lose an engine, that would be bad, but drop that engine, pick that up. All right, have two spares. Anything under one heat per turn is workable for, workable for me. Yeah, I think it's probably fine. I mean, it's not gonna really come become an issue. And now we do have enough energy. Um, all right, that's good. It'll be lower next floor, yeah. Yeah, next floor I'll be able to actually get some extra more slots, but the problem is you just gotta keep the flight brick um, alive long enough to get enough slots to regain all these all this potential <laughs> when we eventually lose it. Although technically the flight it could still go to the end. So anyway, here's the back way out, and we've seen everything. Now you just need to find a backup engine seven in your build will be perfect. <laughs> Uh, okay, so yeah, anyway, finish that. There was a war, there is a war drone on this map. That's one thing you could play around with. It's better when you have a, a larger amount of inventory space so you can carry it out and use it at a later opportune time, but. Not doing that here. Alright, so there's a back way out to the south. And our last announcement was cave walls breached. Oh yeah, I should find some matter, huh? Is there any matter out there? There is no matter out there. There's gonna be a lot of matter here in a second, though. I really should fill up. Mm. Alright, so I guess we'll hang around. Two grunt, melee and behemoth. Hey, everybody. Getting ready to stock me up on matter, yeah? Oh, there they come. You can see them on seismic. That's cool, huh? Robots destroyed. a lot of fun. Don't get imped accidentally. Eh, imp's not making it through here. I think we'll be fine. Plus an imp wouldn't come for us. The imp would co go to attack whatever they're seeing in front of them. So we would be fine. Got a grunt, hunter, demolisher, programmer with prototype support. Frontline finally taking some damage here. Nasty wave, yeah. Well, luckily they're outnumbered when they get funneled through here. Okay, yep, yeah, uh-huh, okay. Time to attack. Just gonna wait here for a bit, let them clear stuff out. Outnumbered doesn't matter when they have progs and demos on their side. <laughs> eh, as long as they get the shots off first, they're in good shape. Time to go pick some stuff up. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Yep, Lone Grunt is gonna die. <laughs> Alright, is there anything else? I, I don't think there's any parts that I would actually want, though. We can actually just get a nice quick list right here uh, of everything that's nearby, which is a billion things. <laughs> Oh, look at the ranges on these things. This is just a giant pile of stuff. If a striker shows up, that would be cool. Mm, they did have prototype support. Um, spectral off an executioner. Oh, yeah, we totally need to replace that. I mean, ours is in a regular slot. So, yeah, that's a good point. Um, I would like that. That's probably... Actually, wait, it would be a prototype still, though, wouldn't it? Uh, that one. 
Uh, actually, that's something I still have to add. I think you can't... You can't actually search for prototype. It's not included in the search thing. That's a, something on my list to, that I still have to add. I haven't done that yet. Backup flight. I mean, technically I have two backup flight already. It's so... The CML spiked heavy sheds. <laughs> Unknown in prototypes are so yeah, yeah, I mentioned it. It's a it's something it's it's been on my list. It's just I hadn't gotten around to it. There's actually not just that. There's several features I need to add to the search the item search window. We've got a lot of stuff, but there's a couple of things I wanted to add. I just wanted to do it all at once and it hadn't gotten to that part on the list. It's for later. I mean it's already pretty pretty useful here, but there would be a way to yeah, list specifically prototype stuff. It's not included in the search terms. Um, oh, but I mean, you can still get them. Can you get them this way? Oh, there's a list. See, we got, uh, what else is here? A seismic detector. Energy mantle is out there. Um, processors. Not, there's an improved melee analysis suite and armor integrity anal anal uh, analyzer. Hmm. Anyway, yeah, but not anything I need right now. Unknown is my top feature I want for that. Yeah, unknown too. I should make sure unknowns on. I'm sure I would imagine it's on the list as well, but I'll make sure it's on the list because I know I have a list of things to add to the search feature. It's been a while since I looked at that particular list, though. It's been on the list ever since like the first version this was released. The uh, search window. All right, guy with grunt, swarmer, hunter, demo with prototypes. All right, things are gonna get messy. heard those helicals yeah prototype support there's definitely gonna be there's an executioner whoa all right some demos just like blues oh they get hit by it there's a dirty bomb just went off to the north <laughs> good old seismic gotta love it the behemoth hopped mmm good yeah, I've been working on that. It's something I'm supposed to be working on already, but I stopped right before that and started doing some other stuff. Anybody want to move? All right, now they're getting kind of stuck around here. Um, there's a prototype device here. Not what I want. Disruptor. Experimental heatsink. Mmm. <laughs> I was gonna do that, but I did not. Oh, uh, well, I mean, I'm still gonna do it. I just have the thing about my to do list is say my to do list has 10 things on it, and I start doing thing number one. Well, thing number one, before I get actually fully started, I maybe do number one, and then I get to number two, and I'm about to start number two, but then by then, I've already had several other more important things pop up in front of it. That's why I said the, for the, that's guaranteed. I have guaranteed that the uh, hopping and other AI behaviors will be updated for the beta 14 because uh, that needs to happen and because it keeps getting put off for that exact same reason because it's always on the list. It's been near the top of the list for multiple betas now and it keeps getting pushed down because it's kind of a big project but I will not push put it down uh, this time. Uh, it will happen but it ha did get pushed down after... Whoa, that was a little close. Hmm... There's an executioner. Anybody want to, like, kill him? Ooh, that goes a little too close. Oh, that's a lot of guys. Um... Yeah, let's go over here. We got Now we've got more, uh, meat shields in front of us. Go, meat shields! I mean, robot shields. All right, he died. It's gonna be hard to find anything over there. Though. Let me see. Um, processors. Oh, that wouldn't, it wouldn't identify if it was, uh, if it was uh, unknown anyway. There's a prototype processor under, right there, right there. 
All right, let's go get that. Oh, there went another trap. <laughs> All right, guys, out of the way. Prototype processor. Let's find out what this is. I'm going to drop. Let's see. I will first draw. Now I actually drop something I have attached. Um, pull off our RCS real quick. What else do I have? Pr yeah, probably need. I can just pull off the RCS for that. Ah, it's a core analyzer. Also, maybe that's not a good idea. I could break something, like losing more, a bunch more of my integrity. <laughs> eh, whatever, right? Oh, no, someone was using it, so it's got to be okay. Um, that's right. That's the difference. Not a problem. All right. Let's not forget our RCS over here. And then, uh, that was not what I wanted. Oh, wait, there's an, what's this one here? Oh, that's the armor integrity analyzer. Yeah, that's why it's not glowing. Nothing. Okay. Um. Oh. Okay. All right. Omega was pointing out this is the reason I did because all these guys get uh, piled on when they turn the corner right here. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. That makes sense. Yeah. I can see that. If you're digging out this entire area in the front just to make a bigger cave to make this fight a little easier, yeah, I can see that being optimal, uh, which is not good. Uh, makes sense. Proto processor. Yeah. This one here. What what processor do I actually want? Oh, it's a heat sink, yeah. Okay, well, it's a heat sink, but... Eh. Spectral is good? Yeah, but there's no spectral out there. That's not... I mean, I'm sorry, I think it was... Did someone say processor? I thought you said... I, I was thinking of device there. That's what I was looking for. Oh, I was looking for... That's, anyway, that's what I was checking out there, but that wasn't what I wanted. I was checking out... Now i got a heat sink here. Experimental optical? Yeah. I, I, I don't see one out here, though. All right, anyway, here's the reaction control, and we just picked up a uh, heatsink, which is nice. He experimental heatsink's pretty good, actually, for us, um, but I'd have to drop something else for that. Transmission jammer, I still want my drone bay. Mm. Um, I guess technically with the... Oh, no, we're not going to keep it attached, though, are we? Not for now. We need more slots. We're going to do it soon, though. All right, I'll... Um, I feel like I'm gonna regret getting rid of my terrain scanner. Mm, maybe I'll drop the medium armor. Drop the medium armor. Okay. Anyway, what's happening out here? These guys done. Flight doesn't need terrain scanning? Uh, usually not. Uh, I mean, it's been helpful for me so far, though. It is less so useful overall. It'll probably get replaced eventually. All right, I think everyone's dead, right? Oh, I, didn't, I haven't been paying attention to the timing, though. What was it? Eight, four, one, five. Okay, we should be okay, actually, if I would just leave now. This looks kind of scary, huh? We're moving at 28 right now? Hmm. <laughs> Could wait a little longer, but... Oh, that's right. They alert for incoming. Yeah. Ten turns. Yeah, I still got some time there. Uh, hello there, dudes. Great. <laughs> um, not gonna help. <laughs> well, we got one of them. <laughs> you need to not do that. Shoot. Uh, he's gonna get away. Damn it. All right. That's an enemy? What? Patrol's down there. Great. Great, great. Well, I got one of them. Ooh, gonna get this guy. Hey, Maxi Quayos Quayasco. Recently started playing Comic. Like I say, thank you for making this game. Hey, thanks for supporting me. And uh, we're gonna keep making it. I'm gonna keep making it. And we're gonna keep making it because I make it with the. Uh, we're gonna make it in Discord together when uh, everyone. <laughs> has comments <laughs> about stuff and things might get adjusted but yeah lots and lots more plans uh, I'm really glad again 
many thanks to Dosh for making that video and bringing in a lot of new people who, um, you know, and really takes not just someone, you know, who uh, has a bigger audience, but also it really helps to have someone who's gotten into the game in much more deeply like Dosh has. You know, there's been some really big YouTubers that have actually shared Cogmine before, but they're just, uh, first of all, not quite the right audience, and second of all, just didn't really, you know, they don't get beyond the surface of the game, and can't, so can't really tell you what it's about, or, you know, a lot of what makes it tick, um, aside from just the obvious, which, you know, can be fun when you first get into it and it's interesting, but it's, uh, you know, he, he really sold it well with uh, the details, um, which... You know, because it's not obvious, and it's not really meant to be obvious for, on the outset, just from either when you're playing or even just, you know, when you look up information about it, it's the public, the generally publicly available common information and, like, uh, stuff I put out on the website and whatever. It's not obvious, really, um, how much there really is. So, yes. Again, many thanks to Dosh. Thread approaching, where's that thread? Let's see one. <laughs> He really did, bought it instantly after watching the video. Yeah, I mean, he he really brought in a lot of good new uh, new sales and a lot of and, and a lot of people who were enjoying it too. I mean, I uh, heard from a lot of people who watched the video and, and got into it because of that, and uh, yeah, found it fun. So I'm glad he made was able to uh, do that. Really surprising, definitely surprised me. Okay, I'm gonna stay away from the south side. Oh, shoot, man, there's friggin' grunts to the south and to the east. And this guy here is going to report us. Shoot. Uh, this is actually a situation where Jammer might help as he gets closer. But if I attach a Jammer, he's going to still be out of range. There's an outpost to the south. Maybe just leave him. Do they report like watchers? Um, they sh they'll have a reporting range. Of, I mean, if I attack. If, do they report just on sight? Um, actually, that I don't think so. But if I, I want to attack him, and so if I'm gonna do that, I need him to be jammed because he's gonna get close enough. His his reporting range is probably longer though. Um, but that would require attaching my jammer, and there's only gonna be one shot. He's headed straight east, so maybe I'll just let him go. Oh, wait, he's coming back. Why are you coming back? Okay. Oh, he ran away. Okay, fine. Just go. Go. Leave. <laughs> Another long-range missile launcher. Huh. I haven't really had to use my own yet. Much. Not at all this stream. Hmm. <laughs> I think next Valentine's Day should give Kavan a girlfriend. He's got to be lonely. As Oemika says, that's P2. We, uh, it wasn't for Valentine's Day, but it was uh, April Fool's release which turned into an awesome awesome event mode you can play player two mode which gives you a pink cogmind friend to for the entire run it's a lot of fun more than cogmind ever needs yes player two. <laughs> oh dang that'd be a lot of, since dosh's video i've put in almost 60 hours love this game so much awesome awesome yeah, one of the things is, you know, a lot of people will get it and, and, and play a good bit, but not, I'm curious how many, you know, like how many players we'll have in, you know, a couple months from now, by comparison. That's what I'm really wondering at this point. Um, because, you know, when Cogmine first came out, it was actually similarly popular to when Dash's video came out. Like, there was a lot of people playing at once. And, um, you know, but obviously it's going to fall off over time. That's natural. But it's a question of how quickly it does and whether it spreads beyond that and, um, you know, how often people come back to it. Um, so I'm curious how much that'll change now. Um, I've been watching those numbers uh, in terms of main, basically runs completed is one of the ways to keep an eye on that. Not just, um, not just uh, you know, how many players are out there uh, simultaneously playing, but just the amount of runs that have been submitted each day to the leaderboards. So, <laughs> one hundred percent in the games. I'll be putting a lot more into it. One hundred percent in Cogmind is is quite a challenge. Very few people have managed to actually one hundred percent. If you base it on achievements, anyway, because there's a lot of stuff that's pretty uh, pretty hard to do, and or you have to do dedicated runs. You can get up to you know a good ninety or ninety five um, with a, a good amount of dedicated play. Getting the actual one hundred is pretty tough. Also requires a lot of skill, unless I guess you can get a lot of the achievements and other stuff through the easier modes as well. It's just most people don't play on the lower difficulties, so that makes it that much harder. But <laughs> I think we got better polish achievements off so I can get the bragging rights. I'm going to be adding more of those. 
100 percent is like 10 15k hour endeavor yeah it's, it depends on how good you are i mean earlier this, people have done it in under 2k hours um it's just it's pretty hard to do also yeah it depends on your difficulty mode um but few people have managed to 100 percent. okay this i don't think i can move without getting spotted here cloaking device would be nice Hardcore is annoying? What? <laughs> Only a flight player would say that. Hardcore is, is fine. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to be getting a lot of new achievements later. For anyone who did not know, their last achievements to Cogmine were added many years ago. And there's been so much content added since that needs achievements, but I need to do it all at once. So we're going to be getting a ton more. Oh, Amika's waiting for me to get rid of the special mode, the challenge mode achievements. Then, then they'll have 100%, right? <laughs> oh, combat builds like the Utils last two? That's true, but you don't have to. Currently figuring out a path for expert speedrunner. Ah, yeah, speedrunning. Uh, Valgaris has a lot of good... He wrote a guide on that, actually. Valgaris did, like, a ton of expert speedrunner runs. Um, a ton of them, and and wrote a summary of his advice. I think it might be linked from the wiki, wiki uh, front page that I put together. But yeah, and there's some videos of it as well. But but that was also before DSFs uh, came into being. Uh, that can offer offer an alternative route. The thing is, you can't guarantee DSFs will work for you and be available. So um, yeah, they might be something you'd do. But anyway, yeah, it's it's a very doable achievement once you've got a good idea of map generation. All right, so I'm going to head now southeast here and hope I can get spotted. I didn't get spotted. Ooh, that was close. I was really close to getting spotted. Not quite, though. Um, shoot, there's a lot of stuff. There's proxy caves for you, huh? Did not get a better visual processor. What is that? Ah, oh, good, it's a derelict. Okay. That makes me happy. All right, I'm going to send out some drones here in a second. That was kind of that was a jump scare. <laughs> that spooked me. <laughs> Say hello to Jimmy Four. <laughs> the others died. <laughs> I'll be honest. I think Super Gauntlet's gonna kick my butt. Mm. The Gauntlet ones are yeah. Uh, that one's pretty hard. But I mean, again, you don't have to go for it. Um, I think because I'm pretty sure they'll be removed anyway. I don't want to challenge them to be something people have to do for achievement percent. Oh, got really close one time, made it to research, it was only 431. Yeah, that's a pretty good start. Um, the thing is, yeah, it does, you really want to get there as low as possible because the, the latter few levels can be really tough. You can make it to access with like, um, I, mean, I don't remember the actual numbers, but yeah, you can make it to access and you've got like a really low turn count and then still manage to not make it just because access can be a real pain. You know, it's even worse than research, so... I want to send out drones, but there's clearly enemies around already to the south, so I'm kind of taking it a little slower here, real quick. Um, all right, now it is time <sighs> for dronage. Not that way just yet. You know, I want you to go around this corner. Go around that corner. Do it. Yes. He's going to find an exit soon. Maybe not that soon, but... <sighs> um, stop right there. He just passed right by an outpost. Is this an active outpost? Couldn't even tell. Advanced cryofiber might be active uh, hmm. yep it's active <laughs> all right a drone might get his attention but he's already attacking someone else so shoot there's assassins between me and the exit Or what is probably the exit direction.
All right, they're moving the other way. Oh, shoot, it's our friend again. Look at that. <laughs> He's going to spot us here, huh? Crap. <laughs> All right. All right, not seeing anything to the east here yet. But the, the the dudes are headed south, so. You wanted an exit. There's an exit from the there's an exit from the outpost. <laughs> All right, let's go. Freaking drone, dude. Also these. All right. That's not what I wanted to shoot. Hmm, they're not moving around. I'm waiting to see if they move. Put our armor back on here. Head south. Can you die? Nope, apparently not. Okay. Okay. Ooh, getting closer and should be good. Go, drone, go. What? Shoot. It's in another area. It's just it's much further south down here. Hmm. Oh, oh, wait a minute. I already know where the exit is. <laughs> Someone is not paying attention. <laughs> Damn it. There's something around the corner. Also, those hunters are coming back? Oh, shoot. Alright, I think I'm gonna have to risk it here. Yep, there it is. Flight brick finally took a hit. <laughs> Polygonal person says, I thought the flying brick was a meme. It's a literal item. Well,. It is an item that was uh, memed into. I should probably click on the. What? Here we go. Um, it's a. It's a. It's a meme that was itemed into existence. <laughs> it was a, it's an item that was memed into existence. Whoops. Um, it was for the longest time. It was actually a meme way to play flight. Um, but it was kind of. It was nerfed though. That whole possibility was nerfed with the addition of um, the drag stat because it was really cheesy. What you the way you could play early flight by um, attaching a lot of uh, disabled treads and basically disabled high integrity, high coverage propulsion to your uh, flight units, um, which allowed you to pretty much just fly through anything. Then you'd have power sources and things like force fields uh, to run. All that combined would make you almost invincible on top of being having a lot of speed. I mean, invincible is insofar as um, you're not going to, maybe you won't necessarily fight a lot of stuff, but you can just run past everything and, and not really take enough serious damage to, to stop you. So you could, yeah, that was pretty cheesy. So I added the drag stat, which really helped balance that out. I mean, it removed that entirely. You can still do brick-ish builds, but you have to build them seriously rather than in a, from a meme point of view. But I thought, you know, it's a cool idea. Um, it's a neat idea to be able to do that sometimes. And so I added it as an actual somewhat more balanced item i mean it's still it's um you know it's balanced how i wanted it to be balanced anyway um in terms of capabilities because it's not guaranteed anyway so if you get it you can try to build your run about it and uh, it works out pretty well but it's not quite as meme-ish as the old brick builds which could literally you know be entirely built around just brick so yeah it was pimsky um but came up with that idea <laughs> Um, how recent is Drag? Oh, it's pretty old now, though. That was that was years ago. Um, Pimsky, it was from back when Pimsky was playing, um, and he he kind of came up with that idea, and yeah, people started using that. It was, I mean, people were honestly people were already doing it as kind of a backup strategy. You know, when you have like, um, you can still do it with core prop, but you could do it with flight, which would let you be even faster and jump stuff, and um, so. Uh, uh, yeah, anyway, um, uh, but he started using it as an actual strategy to aim for. 
and how would you make that even better? So anyway, it was added several years ago, the drag stat, which makes it not really feasible to do that. Or you can do it, but then you lose your uh, your uh, flight advantages, so it's not really worth it. It just makes you slow anyway. So you might as well do it the proper way. Anyway. Um, Red Banker, I just found a triangulator. <laughs> Triangulators are cool. I like them. They're a pretty good item. I mean, some people hate them or think they're useless, but that's also because they have a, they originally weren't quite as good. They got better, uh, and I buffed them, and they're definitely worth using if you want to take advantage of that ability. Um, hey, Dosh, are we winning? <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Uh, winning insofar as not dying. We saw Warlord just, uh, just happened through the base. Warlord crushed the opposition, and we left. That was good. <clears throat> yeah, I was I was already again we were praising your video earlier. You missed that part. <laughs> um Polygonal says, okay, flight feels good, just very light on weapons of support. Yeah, it's um it's I mean as as it as intended, it's it's a whole spectrum from flight to treads. So, you know, you can if you want a little more support and more weapons, you could do hover. It's even harder than flight in a way. Uh, it's a more expert level, I think, uh uh, type of way to play because then you have to also balance your combat capabilities versus um, your speed and other stuff. But hover is technically, um, yeah. I mean, if you want, is is more is flight with more more weapons and just chunkier, chunkier flight, and you're still fast, but you can't jump stuff. So it's a whole spectrum. And if you want it a little more, you can have that. But flight, yeah. Some people just love playing flight and play it almost exclusively um, for that reason. It's a whole different kind of style. Um, and that's true, yeah, you can go for arrays for the extra support. Uh, arrays are good for that. Extra integrity, extra support. How's my favorite character, Flight Break? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so now we need slots, and I think we have to go with two utility slots here. Because, mainly, partially because we, we're relying on three extra utility slots right now for some of our capabilities, and we have the Flight Brick, so I kind of want to be ready for if and when we lose that. It shouldn't be soon, to be honest, but utility slots are good anyway. We have another piece of prototype hackware we just picked up, and we have some other good utilities. We don't quite have enough support for them all, maybe, but we can always remove the cannon and, and swap around a bit there. So I think we're gonna go with two utility for this particular one here. Um, yeah, we don't really need uh, prop right now. Um, we could, but... Our, overall, we're balanced right now in terms of prop and power and everything, pretty much. So, slopping on a few other utilities is good. Plus, again, like I was just mentioning, I'm afraid of losing the slots at some point. Uh, it shouldn't happen soon, but so we'll go with two utility here. And um, power is still okay. We're right on the edge here, 43. Oh shoot! There it is. It's a bug. I wish I knew how to repeat that bug. All right. There's a bug here. I mean, uh, this line still stays there. This is from the combat log. I can't repeat it reliably, so I haven't been able to fix that. The red line. This is from the new, in the modal layout, this is from the new modal layouts, um, specifically the me regular message log. It, this manages to survive a level transition and then never can it ever get destroyed. Uh, it's pretty annoying. Um... I wish I could repeat it. I tried explicitly to repeat it, but if I can't repeat it, it's really hard to fix. And it, I can't see where it might happen. So this is this is one of the newer bugs that I can't figure out. It's telling you to go faster. It's the spirit of the immortal grunt. The immortal line. Well, we can kill that line if I want to. We can just leave the game and come back and go away. It's just a UI thing. There's a there's a little console window that's, that's never didn't get destroyed for some reason. The line under the rest of the normal text. It is stored as a separate console, but... I mean, technically, when you go to a new level, it's supposed to destroy all that stuff. And I can see it destroying all that stuff. So I don't realize, I don't. I haven't figured out why this can stay there. I need to be able to repeat it reliably. But anyway, it's on my list to look at. But maybe you're off one by one row and clearing. It's not, though. It can't be that because this is actually a separate console. It's a separate line different from the others. It's not even in the same system. Um, so it's a completely separate thing, which is explicitly destroyed. Which makes no sense. I don't know why it's still there. Somehow it manages to stay there, though. But the whole UI got more complex. <laughs> if I had a cent for every, can't be that. Well, like I said, it can't be that in this case specifically, because this is not part of an array. <laughs> this isn't. It can't be off by one. This is a, a dedicated thing. But anyway, this is. It's part of the whole re, the the fact that I had to redesign the entire 
a lot of the the main interface in order to support the modal UIs and zooming. This was specifically because of zooming. Originally, the entire um, map interface here was all controlled by a single class, but the fact that you can now zoom means that it needs to be controlled by two separate classes. One for the um, one for all the overlays, a lot of the overlays, and and the other for the actual map stuff. And so I s had to split it out. And it got a lot more complicated um, because of that splitting. Um, and these, this is one of the examples of that happening. Um, it, it's a split. It complicated this thing here. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm guessing indirectly it, it came from that. It, it wouldn't have happened otherwise. So anyway, yeah. Oh, wow, zoomed. How big is that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> so zoomed. I should play zoomed for a little while for fun. The line zoomed into existence. <laughs> um... All right, so let's ten, all right. It's been been a couple hours. I am going to take just a minute break and come back um, fresh as we go into this area right here. We're headed into late factory. Still not even in research yet, but we did mess with W. If we want to, we can go into another caves. Actually, I guess everybody can help decide. Do we want to head into another caves or shoot for later parts? So yeah, things are getting. Things will get hairier now. Negative four can be scary. Research is terrifying, but uh, uh, yeah, we're. I don't know. I feel a lot less terrified when I'm on flight. That's for sure. Um, <clears throat> this particular build, is not bad. Negative four on flight is yeah, it's not that bad. Anyway, so I'll be back in uh, in just a minute here. I'm gonna take a break, and uh, we'll continue and decide. Do we want to go to the caves or keep going up? All right, back again. Um, oh, I also thought it was kind of funny that this week uh, there was, um, fortunately, no more drilling outside, jackhammering. Um, and it was kind of ridiculous. I waited an entire week. I, you know, I skipped a whole, whole stream week because and they were doing that, and then they decided not to do it for a whole week, and then they started specifically on the day I was streaming. And then they stopped. And when I was done streaming, they only, stream, they only dug for, for, for jackhammering stuff for that one morning. And, and then they stopped for a week. Uh, and then they started yesterday, just a tiny bit. And I was wondering if it would affect today, but nope. All is quiet. They are finally mostly done with that, it would seem. Now it's just the remaining other non jackhammery stuff. We're on Jimmy Five. Jimmy Donaldson Five. <laughs> we don't have to rely too much on the drilling to keep the birds away. Uh, yeah, no birds this year. No birds. On a roll now with development. Don't need any birds. Bird powered development. It is not. Okay, so uh, oh, the other thing. <laughs> I think your play build needs seven more hacking suites to be optimal. Hey, we've got one. I haven't put it on yet. It's right here. Boom. Prototype hackware. 
At what, do, <laughs> at what point do you realize the recycler is always pogging? <laughs> Hell yeah, those recyclers, so happy. It's always ghost. Ah, mm -hmm, except when it isn't, right? Ghost is good too, though. They're both good, right? I have a hard time finding hanging suites. Yeah, I gotta go after operators or fabricate them yourself. Uh, most people, yeah, I mean, that's the order you generally do it. Start with operators and then go for fabricating them. I don't even know if we have... We don't have the schematic yet even for it, do I? What did we get? Oh, that's right. I, I did get that. Didn't I get that schematic? Yeah, I got that schematic. I actually built one. And then I had to leave it behind. I built one before. We fabbed it, and then I had to run because there were hunters around. And I found one on the ground after that, which is pretty funny. It was makeup for having lost it. I pog in real life when I see Pogmite. <laughs> uh, Pogmite is such a good emote. Pretty awesome. Okay, so, oh, and look, I wonder if I should get rid of that line. Hmm. Leaving it there is kind of annoying. I could just restart the game and, and get rid of it. Probably could have done that before. Oh, really? MTF had a moment where he had to rip off Quantum Router and leave a hacking suite? No way. Huh. Interesting. Well, we'll chat, find out what it is in a second, because it might as well attach it now. Uh, I think... Uh, I think I'll get rid of that line. Might as well. Um, whoops. Yep, there we go. Don't die. Thank you. Here we go. We'll be running in a second. Yep, running, 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 and here we go. Now to go away. Launching, launching. <sighs> um, rip off quantum router and leave a hacking suite. Uh, what do you see? Little hacking bonuses in the right click menu. Right click. Right clicking what? Will be right clicking. Or did you do you mean like right clicking on yourself? You mean the status window? But not planning on that, no. I mean, in general, you have an idea of what it is based on, you can look at uh, the um, mode. Uh, let me close it, uh, get this started, and then we'll look at it. You know, when you press Q mode, and you can see right here all your bonuses. They're on the right right here. And you could just and they'll be listed together as long as you've got sorting on. And, you know, you can add those together quickly. But there's no plans to add that here. That's, a, that's kind of a different, because it all comes from the same source. Hacking comes from the same source. And so if you add like totals for that, then you start need to adding all kinds. You, technically, you might want to add all kinds of totals for other stuff, which is not really necessary. Like you're targeting, then you want a targeting bonus and all the other things like that. Those are the kinds of things you can see when they're just listed right here. Um, so it's not super, I don't think it's super uh, helpful. Oh, I got a new version. I guess I could check out the news for that. Yes, new version. Okay, we're on the latest version. That was the one I talked about earlier, but... <clears throat> Um, okay, so let's attach and find out what it is. This prototype hackware is... Oh, who said it's... Who said it's always ghost? See, it's always ghost. <laughs> you were so right. <laughs> I mean, it's a high percentage, right? <laughs> 20. It's... <laughs> there he is again, Dosh. It's always ghost. <laughs> uh, I remember someone... Who was that? It wasn't, wasn't Dosh, right? It was somebody else. So someone tagged it. It's always ghost. And it turned out to not be ghost. When they actually put it on. <laughs> it wasn't ghost this time. Anyway, so yeah, I mean, you're, all your attacking will be listed here, here together. And all your defense will be listed together. So you can switch to Q mode and see the totals there. Right, yes, exactly. Someone posted it for the system mapper. Never seen ghosts before? Yeah, this is a rare part, um, but we got it from uh, a special location, so hmm, easier to get rare stuff in those instances. Anyway, it'll be helpful. It, it's, um, you, know, often, you generally want offensive hackware more than defensive, but if you already have some offensive, then defensive also will continue working in your favor. Um, it's, it's secondary though, but it's helpful. Uh, yeah, like Cat++ says, even you know, one system shield is useful to combine with your other stuff. Um, you generally want offensive first though. Hmm. All right, uh, what else do I have here? Okay, so we're actually at max right now. I can't attach anything else without more support. Mm, we could get more support technically by putting on another diverter, but uh, that will make us even more hot 
Well, actually, we did get some uh, some extra dissipation here for free. So, what was that? Our heat experimental heatsink. Oh, plus, honestly, they could put on the heatsink. <laughs> Technically, you could use the extra slot for a heatsink. Oh, that's an interesting idea. Dash says on heavy combat, I've actually started preferring one defense over one offense because it gets more value out of repair stations. That's a really good point. Yeah, I, I haven't heard that before, but it makes sense because um, repair stations are easier to hack to begin with. Uh, you mainly want offense because, you know, if you're going for anything at terminals, it's hard to hack stuff, especially the good stuff. Um, so you're going to need some raw attack power before you can even have a chance to get anything anyway. But if you're trying to keep using the same sort of easier thing again and again, it's true. That, that makes a lot of sense for uh, defensive. Oh, so the DS... Oh, shoot. I was not... I forgot I had mouse on. I tried to... <laughs> I was planning on turning on my cursor here. I forgot I had the mouse on. So it moved me instead. I did not want to go this way. Anyway, there's a DSF here. Uh, technically, we can go into a DSF too. That's always an option. Anyway, there's three options. DSF, we don't have to go to DSF. I'm just talking about it. Uh, it doesn't make sense usually to go DSF, especially not on this build. But there's um, so caves and also north. Uh, defensive Aqua gives wa weird ally bonus. Yeah, you do get other bonuses when you have defensive Aqua. As you can see, the list is fairly long. There's a number. It also reduces chance of central database lockout. Uh, repels most attacking attempts against allies that are nearby. This one's pretty good. It's got other advantages. Doesn't DSF often have cool stuff? Uh, it can. This is not necessarily useful for you. Plus, it also immediately makes you leave. You know, you head off to the next floor. Or it could spit you out in a garrison. But actually, no, DSFs don't go to garrison. I mean, a branch. I don't normally take DSFs, but I do sometimes, actually, when I'm coming into a new level, if there's trouble. We don't really have any trouble right now, so not a big deal. I'm on, I'm on negative two. Previous best was negative four. I wish me luck. Oh, man. Yeah, well, hmm. <laughs> Gonna need some luck there, maybe, if it's your first time. What does DSF stand for? You can find uh, the info on that in the lore. Distributed storage facility. There's lore about it early on. Oh, Yes. We still have our machine analyzer. And there's a garrison right here. Okay, let's uh, shut this guy down. I can get some more hackware. That'd be kind of nice, huh? <gasps> Security level three. Is no problem. Hell yeah. Goodbye, programmers. That gave us, like, a lot of extra turns. Hmm. <sighs> <laughs> First try. It's always the garrisons. Uh, uh, we found another garrison now. It's way off there. Mm, good old machine analyzer is getting active. All right, where are we? We are in the northeasternish corner of this map. I, I don't mind shutting down some garrisons. Okay, so yeah, back to. Oh yeah, I also have a drone bay now. Uh, I don't think I need a drone bay. That's more of a, a caves thing. Um, mass of two is all it is, though. Hmm. Garrisons terrify me. Yeah, I love garrisons. Uh, what is that to the west of us? Okay, machinery. Oh, we're at the entrance, so. Oh, mag cannon, five. Hmm. That's right, I dropped. I didn't drop. Oh, I didn't drop another cannon yet. Hmm. I dropped that. Long range tractor beam, phase gun, zero corruption, definitely something to pay attention to. Do not want to accidentally shoot these things. Looks like we're okay here. Ooh, that looks like fun. Ah, oh, crap, there's an eye over there. Oh, shoot. Alright, that's me playing and getting in trouble. <laughs> uh, hmm. Wait, he's turned around. That's funny. I was gonna actually kill that guy. The freaking programmer is over there now. Hmm. Hmm. I don't have any other good ways to deal with that. Shoot. Advanced transmission jammer. Hmm. Running into a corner here. Prototype device. 
<clears throat> Much lighter than the Mac, yeah. Has that guy actually seen us yet? They must have, right? Ooh, that was that was kind of scary. Okay, yeah, he's definitely spotted us. Shoot. Um Yeah, the, the, the flight brake tanking those uh, blade traps. I think you run. Yeah, I do want to run. The thing is that running out of here is dangerous. Wait for the attack then put on RCS? Really? You wouldn't put it on first? It's because then you want to be moving, I guess. Continuing to move rather than attaching it is even better. Mm, I don't want to get shot by that guy though. The movement avoidance bonus is... isn't it the same, though? What's the speed is 14. Okay, so yeah, you can see our speed bonus is 14. Uh, currently. Good job missing. Um, now we can have time to put on our reaction control. Which push us puts us over weight! Shoot, I did not swap. Oh, uh, that's a problem. <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll take off our cannon. And now we're fast again! Good miss. Oh, shoot. That's not the way. Here we go. Okay. Yeah. The drone bays lose weight as they drop turns? No. Yeah, those are good dodges. No lost... Oh, uh, weight. Hmm... I feel like we're going to get in some trouble here if I keep running into the unknown. <laughs> Double watchers. Hmm. Crap. <laughs> well, we found an exit. I just don't like rocking into the unknown. Shoot, he's close enough to do that. Crap. Flight brake just got hit. What's that? Signal interpreter. Hmm. Lure the prog into a machine array and blow it up? The uh, yeah, tech, sort of. <laughs> I, uh, not this one. Hmm. Lead it in the next room. Yeah, that's true. It does seem relatively safe. Also, this is a way to identify that exit if we need to. Really, we've got hackware though. Oh shoot, I can't get into. The, all right, let's go this way. Okay, I was gonna say can't get into the next room. Uh oh. Ah, <laughs> uh, you saw what that hit, huh? More <gasps> blade traps. You need to be careful. Hmm. Yeah, if we blow out the top, it should be safe. I just don't want to miss. That would kind of suck. But I was just making sure the range should be pretty good. Not corrupted yet. What? <laughs> Why did I attach my launcher again? <laughs> Why not neutron? Oh, yeah, that's true. I wanted to make sure. I wanted to do the extra damage. Um, but... <laughs> I didn't get any alert for that. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was actually pretty funny. All right, Mr. Programmer. 
What are you gonna do now, huh? <laughs> gonna run. <laughs> oh, you're running. Oh, you're running. Um, damn it, I missed. God damn it, I want to kill this guy. Die. Come back here. What is this guy? Why is he, why is he alone too? I'm not gonna be able to kill this guy. It's gonna take forever. I'm a crappy melee fighter. It's okay, we can explore along with this guy. Take us exploring. Weapon cycler. Hope this room doesn't explode. Do I have anything to repair? Power sword? Could repair a power sword. Ooh, what's that out in the hallway? Finally. Sheesh. Let's see. We could repair the RCS. And the RCS. And the RCS. Exploring with friends. There you go. Not Coupler Prog. Yeah, I was wondering if that's what it could be, but it... Nope. Mmm, I got feedback trying to greet a fab. Failed the 90% chance. Ouch. I chose my system mapper out of my seven other pieces of hardware to fry. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's some bad luck. Um. Mmm. Frying stuff. Mmm. That used to be broken too. Fixed that recently. Good job. <laughs> Uber is not exe. Uh, that's a lot of hackware. <laughs> anyway, let's see. I could repair the I RCS. It's. I mean, I guess I might as well. It's got decent coverage. It's probably something I can repair here. Oh wait, can I? I can. I can. I can do that one. Let's attach. Yeah. Here we go. Um, repair that. Two active botnets. Man. Oh, nice. Hell yeah. Give me that. Hmm. Botnets, that's right. I completely forgot. I need botnets. No, bot no botnets needed. <laughs> Don't tell MTF. He'll gloat about it. <laughs> oh, can't go that way. Hmm. Anyway, I was going to do something else and explore a bit first. Not that we'll get super far, but... Actually, I can't do much without... I wouldn't want to go very far without RCS anyway. Thoughts in traps mode? There is a challenge mode, yeah. You don't start with the extractor, but there is a traps mode. In fact, you're not allowed to... I don't think you... Are, you, are there extractors in that mode? Uh, the main idea is that, yeah, there's just a ton of traps everywhere. Freaking A. It's a challenge mode, yeah. Oh, whoa, there's a swordsman up to the north now, great. Where's he going? Man, why do you guys gotta do that? There's definitely grunts with him. Now they're just hanging out in there. <laughs> They're just in that room now. Kind of a dumb thing to wait for RCS, but they're leaving now. Goodbye. Give me my RCS, damn it. Okay. Green. And then this guy. There we go. It doesn't say no traffic strikers. Yeah, I guess maybe that is possible then. Still, uh, back then they weren't so weren't as useful. Um, the extractors they're you more useful. I guess you can use them now. But anyway, so where are we headed here? I guess I should hit some terminals. All right, I need to find some real terminals. Where are some real terminals? Not DSFs. All right, Mr. Sentry's gone too. He left. Uh, yeah, manifest. I wonder what's in that. And that. All right. All right, you gonna alert anyone? No, thank you. Advanced data jack. Light vision core. Hmm, 713. Maybe I should take that, huh? Um, yeah. Could actually replace the uh, micro with this.
Data Jack would be useful if you need to shoot. Um, oh, but yeah, I guess technically that's true. Could you mean right now to like find one? That's an idea. Not something I normally do, but I did. Whoa, okay, patrols. Yeah, sure. Got a little matter refill there. Whoops, you're dead. Signal interpreter. Hey, wait a minute. I still have a regular one. Dang, upgrade. <laughs> oh, that feels good. I've been using a regular one literally all the way to negative four. That's crazy. <laughs> all right. Um, any workers around? No workers around. Machines. Mm. There's one to the right. Oh, there was one back there. Yeah, I'm looking ahead. I don't want to go back just for one, but... What? Stop that. Fine, I'll go this way. Oh, just making our own routes. I <laughs> love our engineers. <laughs> All right. Oh, look, there's a chute right there. <laughs> <laughs> well, found a shoot trap. If we need to use it, there's a shoot. That's uh, one of the ways. If you're really worried about shoot traps, uh, data jack a worker and you can find the nearest one and then you don't have to fear that anymore. Good to know. Alright, I uh, still want to find some other... Terminals. Give me some ter Oh. Can I stay away from that guy? Oh, of course there's a hidden door there. What got you into streaming? Oh, the players. <laughs> players wanted me to stream Cogmine, so I started streaming Cogmine. And now I've been streaming Cogmine and other games for like eight years now. <laughs> Used to stream more often, but uh, I had to, just for health reasons, I had stopped a lot for the past half a year, but I'm now getting back into it again. But I've got, as you can see on my YouTube channel, I've done quite a few since most of them have been archived. Most, not all. That, it wasn't a thing at the, in, at the very beginning. Oh, there's probably more shoot traps in this area, though, so we could get sucked down if we run around in this whole area too much. This, this isn't the only shoot trap. But, um, yeah, it, is, it, it turned out the streaming is a really, uh, really cool way. To, I mean, I need to play as well my own game because I like it, and also to, uh, you know, to help with balance and just experiencing all the different parts of the game as well. You know, not just doing things uh, through pure design and or, you know... Um, third parties just you know watching other people play which i do like to do and and that's helpful as well but playing yourself is a different experience so you know make sure it aligns with my intentions um and otherwise i spend a lot i don't really spend much time playing uh, except when i stream mainly just because you know i have to actually spend the time working on the game as well so and i can easily get sucked into these runs because they're fun <laughs> especially when i'm not streaming i can get sucked into them even more um because do crazy even crazier stuff and uh and just yeah and i can also play faster when I'm playing on my own, so it's it's fun. But uh, and then I, afterwards, I started doing streaming 70 RLs and playing ro roguelikes by other developers as well, not just Cogmine. So to give feedback to them is one of the main reasons because I know a lot. I know the developers of pretty much all the games that I stream, um, and uh, they check out those videos. So so yeah, it's helpful in that regard too. Plus, it's fun to just sometimes share other games, I, and I will be doing more of that this year. I've been just I need since I'm just starting to get back into it more frequently now. I need to do some Cogmine first, um, some Cogmine runs first of all because it's you know there's more people around now, and more new folks who might sh be able to show up and be able to benefit from it. But also just uh, need to get back into play playing more of the most recent versions of Cogmine myself. Oh, should the Matrix inspire you? I mean, there's certainly some inspirations in there, as you can see. Yeah. But inspirations came from everywhere. But Matrix is a big one, yeah. Yeah, and we can test out our terrible decision making by making someone else do the bad decisions. <laughs> yes, that, that's one of the things about streaming. Uh, other people can decide things for you sometimes, which is kind of fun. <laughs> sure. 
shoot feels pretty good with Sprinter Build. Oh yeah, we did like a, you saw on our map earlier. We did a, a shoot here. That's what we did there to escape trouble. So it's nice to know where one is in case you need it, um, even if you're not just trying to avoid it. On a particular on a flight build, an actual Sprinter type build, shoots are fine. I mean, we would get a little corrupted. You tend to get corrupted a tiny bit at least, yeah. unless the, there's no corruption in there. But it's likely. Uh, so yeah, we did one earlier. I'm not planning on doing it right now though because we're not in trouble and we can benefit. But yeah, the EMPs will still get you a little bit. Um, oh yeah, you, you only get a little compared to if you're slow though. If you're if you're slow, you'll you'll get pretty pretty corrupted. All right, there's a there's an escort over there. Ah, uh, this is. Hmm. All right, I want to head east, but hopefully there's no traps here. Just watch you get sucked down a shoot in a second. They're in here somewhere. There's more shoot traps in this room, for sure. Another group of grunts. Shoot. Maybe we could take some side rooms. Good thing we took off the cannon. Oh, yeah. Well, I have... Oh, no, I have 1% now. Shoot. That's right. I got corrupted by that programmer. Ah. Prototype ballistic cannon. I'm still carrying that linear accelerator, too. I'm not going to check the prototype cannon, though. Hmm. Point defense, my leg. Mm. There's a fabricator. I could make more hackware. Not super big on hacking right now, but uh, I mean, it's going to be helpful. Two transmission jammers right there. Oh yeah, that's right. I didn't need to get rid of one of these. Corruption is said deadly. I shot myself with a rocket launcher. <laughs> uh, sometimes you might do that on purpose without corruption. No corruption required, right? But I would say that um, yeah, if you have corruption, you don't want to leave your launcher on longer than necessary. That's for sure. But you shouldn't really have launchers like like Cap Plus Plus says. If you're ever if you um, never leave your launchers on, regardless of corruption or not, unless you're using it, take it off. Now, the only build that would ever keep launchers on is an actual launcher build, which you can do, uh, and they're pretty fun. But <laughs> in that case, you know, you find like a whole cache of launchers, and you just like all launchers, and you have spare launchers. The thing is, they're so valuable that you don't want to lose them. So try and take them off. Um, ever since I discovered grenade launchers, I went way overboard. It's true. Um, oh, it got fused. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense then. Yeah. You, you, if you're corrupted, you can fuse your launcher and then, and then also make you fire it. <laughs> Obviously not immediately one after the other, but they can be pretty close technically. Um, you can't get you know, corruption effects that close to each other that will affect you, but that's, <laughs> that's an unfortunate fuse. Fuse your launcher? Mm. It's kind of scary, yeah. But yeah, early if you, when you're first starting out, uh, in the materials and you find like a cache of grenade launchers sometimes it's really fun to just attach uh, all the carry all of them and attach them all and just you can literally destroy everything and you'll probably be just fine you just have to make sure you have enough matter for that everything will everything dies to grenade launchers really easily early on and they're usually not that hard not that hard to find in the early game and you can even get a cache so mm-hmm yeah, the mini grenade launchers. My last uh, non-stream run was one that started like that. Just, I found a cache of launchers and I said, yep, launcher run. <laughs> Just attached a whole bunch of and carried every single one. And blew everything up. And, you know, you, you just grab a tractor beam or matter pods and fill up as you can on the way so you don't run out. But otherwise, yeah, everything goes down. Okay, so we're at a fabricator here and technically I'm able to build stuff. I can build a combat drone bay. That's actually kind of a cool idea. That's not something I ever build. Also, what about light regen plating? Is that something people do? I think, for some reason, I feel like people don't do that. Combat drones are so good. I should build some combat drones. I never get to do that. I mean, I'm using drones anyway. Light re Oh, because it's because light regen is four mass. That's why people aren't doing it compared to regular light armor. This is kind of nice to have something that never goes away, but... Um, anyway, uh, let's build a combat drone bay then. Um, 
Hacking suites be like hacking suite. Yeah, I was actually, this is my first intent in ten here was to actually build a hacking suite. We can um, build some more of this stuff later as well, but I do like the idea of combat drone base, especially some already carrying drones anyway. Um, even though I'm not going to be using them just yet. But the fact that I have something else that could fight for me is cool. And that I can carry with me as well. I like that idea. Um... Um, wait, what was I in here? Uh, they're really heavy, which means I would not be able to normally keep that on while moving. Uh, the main builds use light armor, flight, and hover, and those don't tend to take lots of damage. If they do, they can just repair it easily. Ah, yeah, you take on light regen. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's true, You that's... It's a really it's a big difference in mentality, you know. I've got this. I can um, take. Uh, you're not going to take much damage anyway. Um, for me, I'm always thinking about taking lots of damage in for my build. So, to, in, from that point of view, regen seems really cool. But I can see not needing it so much on flight. If only flight brick regenerated, <laughs> it would need a lot less integrity to make that feasible. But <laughs> balance wise, anyway. So yeah, that's uh, combat drone base seems interesting to play around with. I would just. The main problem with it, though, is I can't move while it's attached. So how useful is that going to be? I'm mainly using drones for exploration. How big is it? Also, this is double. Oh, it's also double slots. Hmm. Index terminals and excess main. Yeah, I want to do that. I haven't found a terminal yet, though. Uh, can you deploy it with mini? No, you have to have the right drone bay. Uh, type of drone bay. It has to match the type. So we can't deploy combat drones with a mini drone bay or control them. So you you would have to switch to this drone bay. It is double slot, which makes it hard. Which means I can't really swap it in. I don't think combat drone bay is going to work for this build. I think we'll just go for hacking suite maybe. We could get a replacement plasma. So actually, we could just repair our plasma sword too, rather than a replacement. Although it's better than Falks. Let me think. Uh, yeah, so anyway, I guess we're not going to be able to do combat drone. 12 mass is a ton, plus it's double slot. It's it's not really for this build, unfortunately. So I guess we have to be hacking sweet. Ooh, level 3. I'm not used to being able to do anything on a level 3. Let's see if I can actually do anything. <sighs> Damn it. I'm going to fail. Also, technically... Yeah, I'm not going to do it. All right. I was going to say I can get an off ship too. That seems like an idea. I wonder where the next fabricator over is. Seems pretty far away. Eh, it's distant. Yeah. <laughs> Dosh, don't be like me. Don't fry your hackware. Mmm. Yeah. Well, I don't have a system mapper to fry, so maybe I'm okay. <laughs> Advanced focal shield and an improved force field. I'm still... Hmm. What are the chances of a system shield blocking feedback anyway? Oh, I mean, that's true. Our ghost barrier here is uh, blocks feedback 40%. That's actually pretty good for the ghost barrier. 40% block. I mean, ghost barrier is one of the best, so. But, that I mean, first it has to happen to you, and then it gets a chance to block as well. So, it's pretty nice, yeah? Hmm. All right, dude over here. Uh, I could go south. I could... We could go through the east side here. Um, the main question is then just, can you keep going south through rooms to get far enough beyond the sentry? Or we can go to the west side here. Ghost barrier, no stack? No, it is technically stacking. Missing the old days when Zionite weapon casing made you immune to feedback. Uh, <laughs> yes, that's what I was referring to earlier. That was a bug, which was... Very funny. I can't believe that it managed to happen. It made it's so weird that it's that's such a weird bug. I mean, the fact that it was able to evade detection for so long, and the only reason it was able to evade detection is due to a random alignment of index values. Crazy. Meaning players didn't really notice it was weird either because of that alignment. Covering yourself in asbestos to protect hackware. <laughs> More medium armor, another repair station. Oh, actually, I probably could have commented over here just in case. 
I don't remember exactly where he was, but he's somewhere over here. Could repair our power sword. Could try to anyway. That means waiting around longer, but... 50 turns. Also, now I don't have a power sword. I didn't know you could make comments. Google. Yeah, you can totally make comments. Comment mode. Uh, comment mode here. Whoops, that is not comment mode. I pressed the wrong key. But yeah, check if you never need to know. Uh, there's special commands menu here that allow you to do some of the more rarer things like you can do find item item search feature um, <clears throat> this is also where you purge all your parts there's the ruler there's exporting your map um, it's just an alternative way to do the uh, shift alt commands tag items but um, <clears throat> yeah the comment mode is uh, just switch into C here and it'll label all your comments for you too if you ever need to check what those are but it flashes as well and if you want you can put your cursor on top of the comment to highlight what it is as well. Boom, sentry. Obviously right now I'm using the keyboard cursor, but your mouse cursor could do the same thing. If you're... You have a glow. And you can change... In the advanced options you can actually change the glow frequency and, and whatnot of all this stuff. So that it's even more obvious. I wanted it to be there, but not super distracting. So that's why it looks how it looks. Visible, but not incredibly distracting. All right. Just put on our fouts here and check out some more rooms. Finally, a real terminal advanced system restoration module. Wow, that's got an exclamation mark next to it. Amazing. I've never attached one of these. Ever. <laughs> ah, still learning the commands I see use the mouse. Yeah, this, most people use the mouse. That's Might as well purge that 1%. That is exactly what I'm going to do. Purging the 1%. Okay. That is a lot of stuff. I did a botnet because I'm a botnet fan even when I have hackware. Okay. So... Actually, I don't necessarily need to index terminals. It's probably faster to get access, but... We, we actually, we, we cut that out. There we go. Terminals. Ah, uh, always keep a system restore in my inventory. It's incredibly useful. Yeah, they are. Um, it depends on how, how corrupted you're going to get. I mean, this build, I mean, I guess it's nice either way. Um, if you've got the inventory space, it's definitely worth carrying around. Uh, the easiest way to get rid of corruption system restoration? Yeah, you'll need a, that's pretty much the way you to do it. That's the only way to do it, except for evolution. You need to use that. There's other ways to prevent it. Um, oh, there's one other way, which is actually kind of interesting. There's an interesting dynamic which allows you to, there's another kind of part. You'll find it at one point. There's a way to cancel your cor a certain amount of corruption for a while, as long as it's attached. That's another option. There's a number of options now on how to deal with that, but you do need the parts for it. Mm. The blue pill, yeah, yeah. There's another way to reset it completely to zero. There's ways to do it, um, but the, the most common way people use is the restoration module. All right, uh, this is it there. We could uh, probably locate some exits. Um, oh, here we go. Zero percent. Man, we're not as good of a hacker as I would hope to be. It's okay. We've got a botnet out. We know where some terminals are. There's a lot of shoot traps to the west. <laughs> and there's a whole lot of terminals down. Okay, never mind. They're not that close. Never mind. I've seen all these T's in the bottom. I forgot. We're still a ways down. There's a terminal here, a terminal here. At least one of those will be a DSF. What's the time left on our repair? 40 turns left. Hmm, I guess we'll check around a little bit more. Hey, Cybernary. Love copy. I've been playing since beta purchase on your website. Thanks. I'm um, just wondering if you have any suggestions to new players. Ah. Um, I'll turn away about how complicated it seems. Ah. Well. I think Cogmind, I would put it, I would say it's, you know, it's, it's deep, but it's not technically super complicated to get into. I think it looks it when you, for sure. Um, <clears throat> but it's pretty gradual overall. I mean, if you, all you have to do is, all you have to be willing to do is basically look at item stats and part stats and kind of get the basic idea down. But otherwise, you can really just slap parts on. You know, the higher the rating, higher rating parts, slap them on, whatever you think sounds fun. And gradually get into it. <clears throat> in terms of, you know, guides and whatnot, I think you kind of have to be interested in that sort of gameplay to be able to 
really get into cog or you know to want to get into it you have to want to get into that kind of complexity eventually so um you know in terms of guides there's the there's the wiki page which has uh the wiki front page if you search up on the the website or all the places that cogmine links to a wiki uh, goes to the new wiki front page which has some basic guides for new players and stuff but you know and i did a video on it as well uh a long time ago which is still valid for how to really get how to just understand the basic interface um it's zero percent because i did it indirect to uh, so the hacking chance is low. It's not an exactly easy terminal, but um, that's true. Like Leia Voice says, watching Dosh's video is a good way to get interested. Um, Dosh really did a good job of selling the game on how it's worth getting into. Because basically, as long as you think the premise is okay and, and can kind of you know are, are happy attaching parts and playing around with stuff, um, you know, knowing the fact that it, it gets really deep and there's a lot of interesting stuff to explore, I think that's you know that that should be enough if it's not then maybe you, you'll probably be more interested in other games anyway i mean no matter what once you've been playing for a while it's probably going to be a generally a more complicated game to get far um, but it doesn't have to be because if you play on an easier difficulty and you're just throwing on stuff that sounds fun that's higher rated you know higher rating parts higher numbers but oh getting close there red banker 42 tiles for the exit yeah, I agree. I think some of us been playing since the early days have been able to learn the newer add-ons as they were developed. That's true, but the thing is about the newer stuff that's been added, I'm not adding it all to the beginning. It's not front-loaded. All these new mechanics, they're intentionally made um, off in other parts of the game. You know, like, for example, you can do Warlord ECA runs now, which is a whole different thing. But to do that, you have to visit the inside of a garrison and then visit the caves to even start that. You know, there's Riff, which you don't start until you go into, the, into, the, into a garrison which new players are generally not doing anyway, and you have to use a riff installer. You know, normally, that's not something new players get into, but it's been pretty funny since I think, you know, Dosh is kind of a fan of riff. I like it too, but Dosh, you know, introduced the game to a lot of people, and he plays riff as well. And we've seen a lot of new players who want to get into riff. It's way more than usual. New people are not normally asking so many questions about how they can get bot hacking and how to do that stuff, because it's not something a new player would even really get into. You know, there's a lot of different play styles, but most of them are not front-loaded. That's an intentional way Cogline was designed so that it's not over too overwhelming. That's the same reason there's the tactical HUD. Um, whoops, that's the sound. What's the button for that? Here we go. So you disable the tactical HUD. You know, you can... The tactical HUD is off by default, um, but when you turn it on, there's a bunch of extra numbers. The reason that's off is, again, to not overwhelm new players. There's a lot of things... If Cogline hits you in full, it's very overwhelming if you know all the possibilities. But you don't need to. So. Dosh, it's fun diving garrisons and rolling for a good ability. I love Riff. Yes, exactly. It is fun. I, I really want to do another Riff run soon. On my list. Um, but yeah, exactly. We've seen a lot of new players asking about it. I'm, I'm sure it's Dosh's influence in that regard. Most people don't even know it exists. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of things like that in Cogmind. He didn't praise it in the video, but I know Josh has been also streaming to his patrons and playing Riff. And, uh... So it's not just the video alone. Um... But yeah, Dosh has done one recent uh, Cogmine video that he introduced the game, and so that's a it's a it's a pretty good intro. You should check out. I, I I mean, and recommend it to your friends if you really want to get them interested in it. I think that's that's he, he totally sold the game. So, um, yeah. Uh, relay coupler stacked. There is uh, yeah, there is technically an ability for that. It's pretty powerful. Oh, also, also hey Senjai. Yeah, watch my video, make my views go up. <laughs> I've linked your video all over the place. That's for sure. Yeah. Oh, Red Banker just won? You just made it to research for the first time and you won? <laughs> Flight build, eh? Nice job. Congratulations. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna win this run too, supposedly. I mean, it'd be easy to get W0, but that's pretty much probably all we'd be able to get. Anyway, let's get back to actually doing this. I gotta... Uh, repair going to the north. Advanced drone bay. Oh, actually, wait, isn't that also double slot too? Dang. I was using one of these earlier, but... Oh, wait, actually, wait a minute. I, I picked up my drone bay, right? Yeah, there it is. 
I was using one earlier, but two slots is a little expensive. Because it depends on where you want to go. The plus beside our utilities is because they're temporary slots, Senjai. They're being provided by the flight brick. Once those parts are removed, I lose the slot. Yeah. Even <laughs> kids box at the time two of advanced drones. I used them before, they're great. And just uh, maybe not now. I, you're gonna make me do it. You're gonna make me use them, aren't you? And just, just so that I just stop balking. <laughs> I'm just being stingy. Um alright, what's this to the northwest of us? What is what is glowing up there? Why is that corner glowing? Oh never mind, it's because it's the machine. It's the actual machine itself. Alright, there's the shoot traps. We know they're in here. Nah, Red Bank Red Banker saw the ending. You could print so many combat drones. <laughs> okay, so there's a sentry here, which is not great. Because that means if I go here, he's gonna head north and see us. He's I mean he's already gonna come in this direction now. Uh shoot. Alright, sentry on the move. 35 turns left on that. Couldn't get to the drone bay yet anyway. There's a cloaking device. I like cloaking, actually. Cloaking's cool. Hmm. Running out of stuff. And I'm, I already even have free slots, man. This is pretty awesome. So many free slots. Uh, oh, I can also remove the uh, restoration now. What else do I have that we can throw on? I guess I technically don't need terrain scanner. Should probably get rid of that, huh? Oh, fine. Cloaking is cool. Yeah, you can do pure stealth runs and get spotted three times. Yeah, someone's, uh... You take the brace? Really? I don't know, I never use brace. I know some people love it, though. I mean, it's, it does, it's really good at what it does. That's for sure. I'd rather just not get shot. <laughs> It's mainly heavies. One of the main things to use braces from the head. Oh, it saves you from cutters. Ah. Oh, uh, I'll never meet cutters, right? That's true. Cutters would be bad, though. That is a good point. But there's... I only have so many inventory slots. Force field. Cloaking device is cool, though. I like cloaking. Brace is incredible. It is good. You never meet cutters until you meet cutters. That is true, but that means this is something else I have to carry around. Alright, fine. I'm gonna empty something else out here. Like that. I'll take the brace, fine. I'm not gonna actually use it, but I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take the cloaking device, too. Cloaking is cool. And yeah, you can do a no-spot run. Some people pe some people have won by doing, like, no-spots through the entire game, except for materials. Yeah, as a backup thing, that's true. I really would not want to meet cutters, and I don't think I'll meet cutters. I pretty much never meet cutters. No spot seems insane. Yeah, you can do it. It's uh, it's doable. Um, it's very particular play style. Alright, that sentry is to the north of us, so... 21 turns left. Oh, wow. Terminal in the open here. Alright, there is that. Uh, dude's right up there. Alright, he's out of range. Two terminals down here. No, you're gonna fail. There's no way you can beat me. Yep, I get everything. Wow. Hackware. I actually have hackware. This is like so rare. Um, anyway, uh, let's see. Uh, can I purge some alert maybe? Purge threat record. Purge threat record. Ah, two more botnets. I was gonna put a botnet next. I probably should have done that. Anyway, we can put a botnet on this terminal. Oh, okay. We have to get through the wall first. Dual blade saw. Hmm. <clears throat> I saw the drained L cannon post on, Re on Reddit. Oh, oh, was that a while back, or did someone just do that now? I didn't see any posts yet today, but I've been streaming for a little while. Huge storage unit. Someone did do a, another drained L cannon run recently, though. Oh, a while back? Okay. Oh, you mean maybe it was Runia's then. Yeah. The original one. Yeah. Uh, someone has just been doing that, like, um, today, I believe, um, with, uh, yeah, a different approach, but, yeah, same idea, although I don't think they're gonna go all the way through extended, I don't think they can, because <clears throat> they didn't do the way that gives you the machine locations, so they would die if they do that, <laughs> but they're gonna go at least partial extended, um, at least that's the last I saw of their run. Oh, they won already? Yeah. I mean, but that, what I mean is I figured they weren't going to go all the way to double extended. They could only do a single plus. 
Botnet enabled success. Botnet enabled me to install another botnet. Oh, well, shoot, I need one more. <laughs> so close. Um, what else is out here? Hmm. Security status. Botnet enabled success. Multiple botnet enabled successes out here. Somebody get MTF on the line. One active. Oh, he's over there though. <laughs> That's right. It's the range limited anyway, so yeah, we knew that. Okay. I do believe our fabrication is uh, not yet complete, actually. Okay. It's 11 turns. All right. Where'd that sentry go? He done yet? I think he's done. Improved phase shifter. Six turns. Mr. Sentry left. Two. One. Zero. And our power sword is back. That was for 30 integrity. I'm still carrying an extra Falks. Even though I don't technically necessarily need it, but... Mm. What do you think of the scrap engine? I, I assume you're asking me. Oh, the scrap engine is good. I've done a scrap engine run before. Yeah, I, uh, oh shoot, dang it. Here he comes. <laughs> I've done scrap, uh, it did that on stream before. It's, uh, I mean, it's, it's quite good. It's fun, it's chaos, but it's fun. And it also can be super powerful once you know how to use it. More people will be using it, I think, later once there's instructions. Because there's supposed to be in-game instructions on how to use it, but there's not yet. Um, the instructions will help people figure out more how to take advantage of it. Um, if you use it right, it's super powerful. But it's it's chaotic, it's, and it's iffy. In the mid-game, it actually makes it a little harder for you. But by the end game, if you've used it properly, you can be extremely powerful. And obviously it's more of a combat thing. It's not some... usually. Not entirely, though, I guess. You, mean, you can use it to build some very fast uh, and... So good with uh, um, flight type stuff with good support and integrity. So it doesn't have to be combat, I guess. It's helpful though, because if you have all your slots filled with constructs, they get more powerful. But but scrap is incredibly powerful, yeah. <laughs> I just shove every item I find into it. Well, that's one way to play it, but it's usually not a good way. You, there is a strategy you'd want to go uh, go by in using it. Hmm. Because they are boxed in by sentries here. Uh, anyway, we can continue exploring south. Oh, also I know where the exits are. We can actually like decide where we're going to go now. There is a research exit. Do we know where all the exits are? Damn. Kind of nice being in the main complex with hackware. Makes things a lot easier. Uh, let's see, one hour. I don't know, maybe I should finish this run today. It's probably a good idea. Rather than drag it out and do extra stuff. No, I can start a different run. But if we're going to finish the run, that means i got to go to research now. And even then, it might still not be hard to finish on time. Yeah, congratulations again, Red Banker. Uh, uh, Red Banker, I know it's very good. Feels good to get that first win in. <laughs> That's the fun way, random chance. <laughs> you can really bork your stuff, though, with the scrap engine. <laughs> uh, there's a sentry on top of the cave's exit. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. The cave's exit? Uh, I was planning on... T I think... W yeah, the one over there. Right, that one way over there. It's true. Hmm. Anyway, so the closest exit was right over here. That one has no sentry on it. Let's see, the main thing would just to be, you know, what other kind of parts do we need to actually get? Yeah. Uh, could get some more hackware. For that, we need a fabricator. I don't have one. I should find one. Now do the other eight wind types. Yeah, as Leia Boy says. A lot of other wind types to go for now. Um, let me think here. Let's, I guess let's take and head back, go south and use some of these other harder terminals to try to get so that sentry saw us. He's moving west. Another status one I didn't go by, yes. Salvage targeting, large storage. Hmm. 
That is true. Whoops. That's not the way I'm going. Yeah, that is definitely the easier way. Okay, we can see there's a sentry right here. I don't even have to actually mark that. But we can do it anyway. There's a sentry down there, too. You can tell with the wall orientation. Um, they always make have a little spot for them. So he's actually guarding that terminal. Hmm. Could oh, I'm not going near that guy. <laughs> That's how we get cutters. Okay. Well, then. Hmm. I was going to head south and grab those terminals, but it doesn't look like that's happening. This one's a DSF right here. This one over here is the closest other terminal to potentially use. For that, we'd have to go through the central room. So it doesn't look like we're going to actually go this way. Shoot, stay away from that guy. Do not need cutters on my tail. All right, so there's the advanced drone base. Hmm. Mm, guess I'm not gonna use that. Way back up there. I was mainly gonna look to, for a uh, fabricator index in order to see if there was any more where I could build another, some hackware or something for the next floor. That's the closest one. That's, hmm, could probably get there. I guess one question is if programmers get dispatched, where I'm going to tell them to go away. But there's another garrison out there. I could take that out too. Eh, could try this. I'm going to go back up this way then. Oh. Alright, he's leaving. Okay, he's gone. He's gone. Security rotation. Uh oh. Uh, also, there's an ARC now to the north. That's an interesting corridor. That's right, there were more uh, bots hanging out over here too. This is kind of, this is the center of the map. It's kind of a dangerous place to go. Doesn't mean I'm not gonna go there, but just more dangerous. Hmm. Gonna run that. Oops. I'm, I'm leaving this data jack on just for the hell of it, too. Let's look at the 1% coverage. Not actually using it or needing it, but I don't need to take it off for any reason, so just leave it on. I feel like there's an enemies of the north. Yeah, assassins. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it's going to get pretty dangerous going this direction. They will spot me if I keep moving forward. In fact, they might have partial spotted. They're going to leave, though. They're going north. You can get the fab index with the jack, too. Oh, I don't normally do that. How do they do that? Shoot, that guy's not far enough. I guess far enough away. Hauler? Oh, hauler. That's right. Okay. Yeah, I'm not used to having a data jack and using it like this. You can get one from a hauler. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there was one in the tunnel. That's true. There was. Uh, anyway, I already know there's one to the center of the map here, which is probably the closest one anyway. All right, there's light angular momentum. There's... what else? Nothing else I actually want from here. Oh, it's a grunt squad to the southeast. <laughs> a little cutting a little close. This is pretty dangerous to go in the middle of the map. Do not warn anybody. Okay, there's no enemies over here. Uh, who is it then? What? <laughs> he just hadn't spotted me yet? <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, hmm, interesting. He's... Not yet alerting that dude? Okay. There's another hauler over there too. Alright, I'll go back this way then. Just for now. Shoot, there's sages to the north. Oh, this is such a bad spot to be hanging around. Laziest watcher. Yeah, I don't know what's up with him. Eh, hmm. Gonna wait here and see what happens. Alright, the grunt to the west is going west. The group to the east is hanging out in that room. Eh. 
And there's a sentry to the east. <sighs> Good thing I've got... There's a lot of sentry markers out here now. Hmm. Good thing I've got the uh, visual processing. I like. Hmm. Alright, that watcher left. <laughs> what? Five Jimmy's, three Timmy's, one Robbie, one Bimmy. What? <laughs> Time to find more shoots. Uh, we do know where plenty of shoots are. Hmm. I was planning on heading to the next floor, but I, I wanted to see if I could fab some stuff first. Getting uh, getting pretty close to it actually now. Shoot, programmers over there too. This is really dangerous. All right, you know what? That's not worth it. <clears throat> nope, not worth it. Goodbye. Oh, I, I just, you know, I'm kind of stuck now in there. If this room, are these guys in the east room still? They're still in the east room. Crap. Oh shoot, the door. Oh, there's a door. Crap. 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 Stop. No. Don't come here. <laughs> All right. I hope the guys to the north are gone by now. They might be. They're gone. Okay, getting chased. It's dangerous going to the uh, the middle of everything. is very dangerous. Don't do that. <laughs> well, I mean, sometimes you got to do it. So, all right, there's the programmer. Programmers went to the northeast. Where am I going? I'm going to this exit over here. Right here. Okay, not that way though. Could go around north, or we could dig through, or come down here. Get out of the way, dude. There we go. Hello. Recalibrator. There we go. That's where we were headed. Okay. Hmm, can I support more propulsion, perhaps? I mean, meaning through resource-wise. Energy net negative. Yeah, I want to finish this run today, so based on stream time... Whoa, there it is again! God damn it. <laughs> the immortal line is back! <laughs> I mean, it's obvious when it can appear, I just haven't been able to repeat it yet. Here's the line here. Um... It happens whenever you have... I mean, obviously, it can only happen if there was a line to begin with. And the only reason there could be the line there is if you had some messages left. But I'm not quite sure what conditions cause it, because I haven't been able to repeat it yet on a transition. But it's clearly... It happens on a transition when you have the line up there. So anyway, it's back, and I'm not going to get rid of it this time. You can just enjoy your stay line. I am going to look at my propulsion. Let's see. Energy is net... Na oh, so I can't actually... We'd need slightly better power in order to run another one of these. Hmm. It's harder to get much better power without a little more mass, but that's actually fine. We could support more mass, too. You might want to start saving before transitions? No. <laughs> Rogue mode, that's right. Um... I've, no, I don't, don't play anything but rogue mode. Most people play rogue mode, but yeah, there's no saving. If we die, we die. That's the end. It's over. Uh, hard cell cannon. Hmm. Uh, I did get drop my spare cannon already. Rogue mode is what it was all balanced against. So yeah, definitely rogue mode life. But I can understand rogue mode for life. But I can understand uh, people who need to play or want to play the other modes as well, just for more fun or don't have enough time to. Uh, get the experience needed to excel at this mode. Uh, okay. Well, the first thing I'm going to do... Put out a botnet. Just regardless of what anyone says about botnets. Then I'm going to do a... Let's see. If we do a garrison index, no. Uh, machine index is 10%. That'd be pretty awesome, actually. It's pretty low, though. Uh, I tried. Close. <laughs> Would have been cool. Hello, terminal. Hacking into your rear here. I guess I should try something more serious here. Uh, like, uh, 
Let's see, security level two. Hmm. Okay, yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> well, we're still not good at hacking. <laughs> we're just uh, not absolutely terrible at it. Big difference. Ooh, garrison and an operator. This has got to be your terminal, dude. All right. Uh, yeah, look what I found. Oh, shoot, this is actually pretty hard. Damn. Hmm. Wow, we really suck at hacking. First thing I'm gonna do is shut this down. Seal. Oh, shoot, I can't even seal this thing. All right, this is actually bad. <laughs> now you can grab his hackware. Oh, that's true, I could do that. Definitely lacking in hackware. Mm, die! He dropped his system shield. Well, I mean, it's free. <laughs> the endless red line? Yeah, I, I mentioned about that earlier. We restarted Oimuka to get rid of that. Uh, we just talked about it again. <laughs> restarted to get rid of it specifically, and it's back. I need to get rid of that. I need to be able to repeat it first, though. I mean, I don't know when it happens. Yeah, I just go on to basic win. Mainly because I don't want to spend forever on a run. Shoot. Especially if it's a flight run, but at the same time... I mean, I wouldn't mind... You know, there's not really going to be enough time. I was going to say I wouldn't mind going to check out some research branches, but... Eh. Also fine if it's less spoilery, too. Seems like you repeated it right there. Yeah, I mean, repeat it when I can test it. Lyra's never gotten the red line. Yeah, I don't know what the conditions are. I mean, some people have never seen it. There's just a few people who see it pretty frequently. Um, I've actually never seen it in a, my previous streams either. This stream, I've gotten it twice now. I don't, don't really know. It's modal only, yes. It has to be modal. So only, only the quarter of people who are using modal are actually ever going to see it anyway. Um, so it already reduces the chances. But um, modal only. Yeah, okay. Klopi says uh, running modal and never seen it. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Dodge also. I get the red line, but I don't, never get it because I don't play mobile. Yeah, I mean, it's only a quarter of the people, but... Eh. Lyra's also running modal. Yeah, I mean, even all the modal players, not necessarily. It's only... only I've only gotten reports about it, I think, from one person. And then I saw it. Um, so I know it's a thing. But it's a feature. It's an annoying feature. <laughs> all right. Uh, where the hell are we? I guess I should look around. Wait, do I have any info? No. We have some intel here. We're in the northwest corner... We have a garrison, because we found this garrison. Machine analyzer is so cool. All right, let's uh, let's I guess go this way. Oh, that's a little further in than I wanted to go, but all right, never mind. I'll go try south first. Probably nothing down here though. What about this way? All right, there we go. I'll take this way. We need to head east though. <laughs> the frequency of the red line directly correlates with your skill. Wait, is this good skill or bad skill? <laughs> <laughs> I saw it once and assumed it was a corruption effect. Yeah, feature, feature right there. Well, that's something I don't get every day. Shot at by swarmers. <laughs> I haven't had that happen yet. Well, I mean today. I've been avoiding getting shot entirely. Swarmers are the bane of flight, uh, especially when you don't have sensors. If you have sensors, it's better, but I'm playing flight without sensors, so. All right. Um, we do have a launcher, and I'm using the launcher right now. Goodbye, Swarmers. I have an older launcher. It's not bad, but ouch. That didn't work. Thank you. Please die. Okay, good. Yes. Goodbye. Um, 85. Yep, I know I'm overweight, but that grunt is getting awfully close, so I wanted to move before taking off the launcher. Whew. I almost thought that was a neutron missile launcher. <laughs> Would I ever publish an April Fool's update? I've done many such April Fool's updates. That's where a lot of special events came from. 
in the past. There's launcher mode, that's where player two came from. You can play with another AI controlled Cogmind. There's some fun stuff. Player two is cool. No, we don't use Leontron missiles anymore. Yes, you do. Of course you do. You definitely will, oh boy. They're not that bad. That's right. Pay to buy is another April Fool's mode. I hadn't, I didn't do one uh, la this year, last year, I guess, not recently, but they've been, there's been some fun, uh, fun modes before for April Fools. I skipped this year though. It's way too busy this year. Uh, way too busy. Of course, the original launchers mode, I literally did that in one hour. I mean, it's super simple compared to the other modes. The other modes are quite complex and required a lot of coding and design and stuff. The launchers mode was like, oh my god, it's April Fool's Day and I want to do something. Um, I had a good idea. I spent an hour coding that and then just released it immediately. This was, I think, this was that was the first one though too, wasn't it? The very first one where I just had an, a quick idea and it wouldn't be too hard to implement. So I just threw it in. It was kind of funny. I mean, it's super simple. Uh, prototype device. Hmm. <sighs> launcher flight, a lot of dancing around, keeping people at maximum range for guaranteed hits. Yeah, launcher flight can uh, can work out. I mean, higher uh, pissing, rate of pissing people off, but yeah. <laughs> Herf cannon. But you can deal with it. Xenon bombardment. Oh, wait a minute. Actually, wait. That's right. I could probably like throw one of these on, can't I? Take flight from the swarmers? Yes, stack of launcher loaders. Um, energy. Hmm, never mind. These aren't very good. <laughs> Sterilization flight time. <laughs> launcher loader flight. Yeah, you can technically do that. Six support. Hmm. Yeah. Six more support. It's better than nothing. But, I mean, it's... Don't need that. I mean, well, let me think. I mean, it's mainly an energy problem. We need another power source now. I mean, it's a balancing, flight balancing issues. I need another power source and a heat sink. So, kind of got to evolve to be able to develop that stuff. And our flight brick just took a little more damage. I wonder if I should be worried about... I guess I don't have to worry about that yet. We Our flight... We're almost at a situation where basically I should be able to replace flight brick for the most part. Even if it's lost. The main problem then being the lost slots, which would be bad. But... Otherwise, not not in terrible shape here. Can flight brick cannot be repaired though. This is a unique part. New unique parts cannot be repaired. If you need to know, when you look at an item right here under integrity, uh, it has, as it says there, maximum integrity for a part that cannot re be repaired is preceded by an asterisk. So there's an asterisk right there, or next to its ma max integrity. You can't repair this part. Um, number of unique things that can't can't repair um it's true you can't take it off you can't repair anything you can take off anyway uh, because the repair station has to be able to take it off of you without destroying it uh oh yeah that's right from the west side hmm, maybe I, I should have gone west i shouldn't be going this direction i'm going the wrong direction that's a sentry And he's on the move now. And that grunt is now close enough to spot us. Shoot, they're headed this way. All right, so one option is to slip south anyway. The sentry would then see us. Or I could slip the other way, northeast. The sentry's not going to be out of the way for very long, though. Hmm. Circle around the sentry. He's not going to come that far south, though. He's just going to step right into here and then turn right back around. So I don't think we can circle around him. Plus, I didn't want to go that way anyway. I wanted to head west. Southwest. He's not going to really peak much. Peg them with long range missiles. Uh, no. <laughs> he takes two steps. I mean, I think he's just going to. Uh, uh, right. No, he's going to step. He should be just in right in here. So he's going to turn right back around. What. Oh, well, it's true. I mean, I could squeeze by him and he'd still maybe see a sister. We can still squeeze by him. The thing is, I'd head into the unknown. Another option here is to actually head right to. My first thought was to head this position and shoot with a cannon diagonally through this wall. And then I could head northwest. Uh, through there. That was my first reaction to what's happening here. He's not going to stay over there very long, though. I always head into the unknown. Hmm. Yeah, oh, now he spotted us for real. <laughs> oh, shoot. Friggin' A. See? Me listening to Wimica's. <laughs> Gets me in trouble. Alright, we're headed. 
No, I was gonna say we're headed east now. There's literally assassins down that corridor. Ah. <laughs> um, copyrights asking about the slots. Yeah, you can. Uh, it's because of the flight brick. You can see the pluses. Uh, we have pluses next to these slots. This item here is giving us extra slots. So they're free slots. That's why we have this many. If I lose this item, we lose all three of those slots. So by keeping this item alive and making sure that doesn't die, we get to keep free slots, which is nice. Plus the item itself is nice. So yeah, making that last is, is good. Hmm. Uh, I did take the cloaking. We do have it. It's not going to be helpful right now, but I do have it. Recommend not running into hunters when exploring the unknown. <laughs> Damn it, Oemika, your tips are just like... <laughs> uh, could use some improvement. <laughs> I've seen a power source that's done it before once. Yeah, the uh, the Metacore, that's a really good one too. Uh, the only place to get those currently is in the subcaves. So if you visit the subcaves, you might be able to acquire one, of, one such item. You can't get them anywhere else though. So, yeah. All right, this is kind of annoying. Friggin' sentry. Also, friggin' Oimika. It's not... <laughs> shoot. Is that grunt's gonna come in here now, isn't he? All right, fine, whatever. Oh, shoot. Can I stay away from him? Where's he going? Did he move yet? No, not yet. He's about to, though, but I don't want the sentry to spot me. Crap, 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 crap. All right, fine. You could have. <laughs> this is why you take Farcom. Eh, well, and I, yeah, I went to the subcaves. That's the whole reason we. If I had fire Farcom, we wouldn't have flight brick. So hey, do you want Farcom or do you want flight brick and three free utility slots? I'm using the green bot armor. That is exactly what I'm using right now. Um, shoot. Now green bot armor is harder to use because he moved. <laughs> ah, shoot. It's not working. <laughs> oh, that's bad. Can you stop shooting at me? 394. All right, good. All right, now I can go the way I wanted to go originally. I hope that's a good way. What else do I have out here knowledge-wise? Not much. Hmm. A Farcom? I'd have those util slots by now. What? <laughs> Classic research panic mode. Hmm. How many of your util slots are sensors? We do have a lot of sensors. Um, not any regular robot sensors, though. All right, let's see. Uh, I'm not gonna be repairing anything. What is that stuff? Launcher, loader. I, all right, was, there was nothing over here, right? To the west? I think we should be okay. Just to lose all these guys. I, you better shut up. Yes. Ugh. That's right, dude. I'm gonna skip the middle room. I had like maybe five or six hacking suites and two shields. That's yeah, if you got that much hackware, it's pretty good for getting away. Good ECM suite, that's true. This is a good moment to attach an ECM. This would be a very good opportunity for that. I don't have one, but I have a lot of other stuff I'm not using, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm not a big ECM user, but I'm glad people use it because it's a hard to balance thing. Energy well, advanced for, oh look. Look at that, look at that to the north. <laughs> it's not the direction I want to go, but it's since we're on the topic, there's two fabricators up here too. Damn. Just watch there be something bad in here. Is there sentry around here? Be behemoth. Is there a behemoth somewhere around here? I will take it. Actually, I was going to hit the fabricator first because I'm already down here though. Probably it might make sense to go to the ECM first, but I don't know. We're already here. Ooh, hardened sentry and wheel. I don't need that. I could actually get some. Oh, actually, it's going to call more enemies in, too, though. Two fabs and a protostack pile and no behemoth. I know, that's what I was wondering. It was like, this is a suspicious room. There might still be a behemoth I haven't found yet. <laughs> um, can call in a squad. It's kind of a dangerous corner, though. We have to go south after this. Twenty-three. The behemoth is busy guarding a stockpile of eight thermal defense suites. Hey, don't make fun of thermal defense suites. Also, never say there's not a behemoth until you're one hundred percent sure there's not a behemoth. All right, uh, we're pretty negative on power to begin with, though. Let's see. Uh,
Negative 24. <laughs> Ooh, aren't you going to use those flight units? Oh, yeah. I should probably do that. I'm just hanging around this area for now. <laughs> I'm not paying attention to flight units. To be honest, I'm blind to flight units because I don't normally play flight. So if I see flight on the screen at all, I pretty much just ignore it. Unless, like, it's the only thing in the room. And then I might notice it. So, yeah. I'm, you can tell. Not a flight player. <laughs> Actually, if I get out of the hacking suite, it's going to call even more guys to this area. <laughs> Rad Bank says it's like me and legs. <laughs> I notice legs. I notice ground prop. Flight and hover are basically invisible to me. It's hard for me to notice them. Uh, so there's nothing loaded here yet. Hmm. Oh, actually, there was two together. I could have used that huh, to make an off chip. That would be kind of cool. <laughs> no, it's the only good legs you'll find the ones you torn off the lightnings. <laughs> eh, eh, I like Centrium legs. Of course, that's late game, but yeah, in the mid game, obviously, uh, you're generally getting better legs or good enough legs off of enemies uh, and having a, a greater number of slots. Fab improved for thermal defense, sweet if real. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's right there. Ah, uh huh. Right, right, right. Okay, so yeah, I guess earlier I mentioned you don't actually need regen plating. Uh, I don't really have anything I want to make. I, I don't really need another hacking suite, actually. You could use this to zap some people. Gonna run out of power soon. Should probably grab these while I'm at it. Alright, faulty. Good thing I knew that was faulty. Alright. And then this here... Wow. Oh, never mind, that's because I'm still running the ECM. I just turned my ECM off. Boom, there we go. 9.5 moves is still super expensive. We're not a, we don't have enough power to run this stuff still. Warlord has good legs. Mm. Oh, jammer. Oh, I forgot I was running the jammer. Oh, there we go. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't need to be jamming all the time. Um, yeah, I don't need to be jamming all the time. That's good, that's good. Okay, that makes sense. Now we got 49. Speed is pretty good now, yeah. Uh, I guess I want to grab this other one. What do I have here? Hmm. Hmm. Mmm, gambled on Proto's the entire winning run, and I only cooked one faulty. Yeah, I mean, that's a decent... You shouldn't really get that many faulty ones, which is why, if, unless you have something really important, it's probably okay to just attach ID. Don't forget the suite. <laughs> I feel that's not the guy I, I've, I've forgotten these things before, yeah. I will try to think... Yeah, it's in the back of my mind here. We'll grab that. That's going to require another slot as well. Um, right now, the ECM was just temporary, though. Ditch, oh, ditch the SR? You, you, mean, you mean get rid of my visual processing unit? I like that. Hey, Damon Adjin, the, the brick does still live. <laughs> it's still not gone, which is nice. Kind of relying on it now, but uh, these extra slots have been nice. But I'm, I'm getting to the point where I think the extra slots aren't going to be super necessary. Like, that targeted computer is actually pointless, so we really only have two extra slots that we're using, both for Intel. They're both good, but um, we're getting less to a point where the, the flight brick extra slots are actually like super useful and important. The targeting computer especially is kind of pointless, but... Such a same, you find the triangulators so late, it's not all that useful. Tri uh, you can get triangulators mid-game. It's not that late. It's, you know, it's only like rating 5 or something. Yeah, I did put the targeting into a, a temp slot because I had... I was like dying at the time. I didn't have anything else, and I just needed to throw stuff into slots. And that was just happened. Something happened half. That's what it was. Otherwise, I wouldn't have chosen to do that for sure. Uh, literally, this build almost went down early on. So, can you discard? Yeah, we can get rid of the part if we want to. You need to just go away. So, no reason to do that. But we can discard. 
All right, so what am I doing? Okay, still got a graphene brace. That was just an emergency thing. We've got the advanced system restoration. That's just in case you come across uh, programmers. The mini drone bay. Actually, I think I can drop that now. It's only got one drone left, and I'm not going to the cave, so I'm going to drop the drone bay. That's what I'm going to drop. And then uh, grab another pulse thruster. And I wonder where those... I, wonder, I guess our pursuers are gone now, and I should probably go back up here again. Six. Yeah, grab right this. We're going to need another slot. System restores basically uh, a scanalyzer. Uh, I wouldn't think of it as such. I mean, if you're thinking about faulty parts, what do you mean by scanalyzer? Yeah, I mean, there's CAS is what you're supposed to use for that, the Komodo Analysis Suite, because we're not worried about corruption, purely corruption from that. We're worried about other things. Literally, remember this, the whole reason this is mega damaged is because I attached a faulty part. That's not that's not something uh, that uh, would help us with that. Corruption is not, yeah, exactly. Corruption is not the worst thing you can get from faulty. It's, it's a thing, <laughs> um, and it's not great, but uh, that's usually not that bad by comparison. Oh, drop it over here instead. Um, okay, well, we've got our extra slot here. Um, and I guess our ECM is probably done doing its job. Advanced ECM is pretty nice. Expensive, but yeah, I, I like the idea of using that on this uh, build. Another hacking system, heck yeah. Too bad I can't slot it in for that targeting computer, but uh, anyway. Um, let's see, I guess I can get... I don't know kind of want to keep around our three prop I'm mainly waiting for flight brick to die even though that's gonna take a while what else do I have in here graphene brace I keep graphene brace only because people say about talk about cutters which makes sense worst thing you get from faulty is using half of your brick integrity at the start of the game yes exactly I pretty much got the worst possible effect from <laughs> of attaching a faulty prototype seriously Losing half your flight brick integrity. Oh my god. <laughs> it wasn't even damaged. <laughs> uh, that was bad. But it's still lasting, as you can see. It's good enough for a W0 anyway, as long as you play it careful. Uh, well, I shouldn't speak too early because we're still only in negative three, but I think it should speed up a little from here. I mainly came over here to get another piece of hackware, but I can't... Actually, wait, we don't even know where the exits are yet, so I guess I shouldn't speak too soon. We need a, we need a hack for the exits next. Get a move on. And then this here is... I need to swap something in. Mm. I find it interesting that people want me to get rid of the visual processing unit. I'm just... I love it. It's, uh, especially since they don't have sensors. It'd be, I think if we didn't have that, there'd be a much greater chance of ending up ending up being spotted by something. We're moving fast, but there's still a good, better, much better chance we'd get spotted. Whereas right now, it's the chance is, as long as it's far enough away, we're not gonna get spotted. Optics are good. Don't listen to them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I like optics on all my builds. Drop targeting, yeah, I would drop targeting too. The thing is, it's not, I can't drop it. We would definitely drop targeting if I could. You ditch the SRM. What is... Oh, the system restoration. Oh, well, yeah. That's, that was just a backup thing. You're right. I, I should get rid of that. I'm going to get rid of that. That's the best option here. You're right. I agree. Okay, what are you doing power-wise? All right, we're at 108. And we're not running anything. But we can regen power really fast by just waiting a couple turns. Uh-oh. What's to the south? Oh, that must be... I think they're headed to the fabricator. Pretty sure. Build combat drones. Thought about it earlier, for sure. Um, these guys might come in this doorway. There is a chance. It's a non-zero chance he's gonna step through that doorway. Yep. I was right on both counts. <laughs> Yeah, I knew it was the investigation, and I figured they were going to step through that doorway. Um. Oh, shoot, I should have turned on the jammer before I moved. Crap, it's too late now. Yeah, it was, it was, he was, he's probably going to know about that anyway, but... All right, I need to come out of here. 
I don't think I'm going to be able to ECM these guys very easily, but it, eh, it probably works still. Quarter to the north would be safer? Yeah, I don't, no, I don't want to go that way, though. That's into the corner of the map. We need to get out of here. Out of this corner of the map. <laughs> I'm enjoying seeing that the score file name is W0 tacked onto the end. Yes. Good old W0. Eventually you'll get W's with other numbers and then even pluses tacked onto the end. Uh-oh. Mm, another mini drone bay advanced. Try to improve more for the field. Another, another ECM. Hmm. This is not the direction I wanted to be going in. But it's the direction I'm going in. Um, okay, that's okay. I'm the little quarter leading out of that room for waiting until the investigation leads. Oh, you mean or before they showed up? Well, they were gonna come. They were gonna their route they were gonna take was this way, so yeah, it could have worked. But the thing is at the time, I don't know. I guess it's also because I'm flight, I'm not used to being so fast. I could have made it. Oh shoot, I split him up. Okay, ECM drained power. Ooh, Delta split. That's right. Um, I got three beta 13 records. <laughs> All right, and turn on the ECM again just for a bit here. Need to find a terminal. Pretty close to the beginning, though, still. Not seeing anything else going on out here. Oh. Well, that's an exit. Wonder where that leads. Scythe triangulator. Ooh, triangulator. I actually want to use that right now. A triangulator combined with an ECM suite is pretty cool because then you can tell exactly, but I don't have any space for this, but <laughs> then you can tell exactly when things have, you've lost things. Um, I think it's, I don't have room for this. I need all the stuff I've got. I mean, drop the transmission jammer for a second, but I, don't, I really I need all this other stuff. Except the graphene braze. That's the only thing I don't personally think I need. Um, I'm going to drop it for a second. And then I'm going to shut off my ECM. RCS. Mm, I mean, RCS is great. Just don't get hit. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's what RCS helps you with. It makes you not get hit, right? RCS right now is kind of like basic. It's extra armor for our flight brick, making it extra valuable, I think. Anyway, I am doing this so that I can uh, then... I'm dropping just the graphene brace for a second so that I can pull off the uh, jammer and put on the triangulator. And yes, see, the triangulator can tell us nothing's chasing us right now, which means they've uh, the hunter has actually lost us. I think it's kind of cool. I'm going to leave the brace on the floor. Um... Yeah, okay, as Leo always says, you can let go of graphene, but if you get cuttered, it's your own fault. I know, that's that's what I was thinking. I'm going to leave it there, and if I get cuttered, that's that's my fault. Cutters are pretty bad. Cutters can't come, though. There's got to be heavies for there to be... The thing is, you can't encounter... There's only two ways to encounter cutters. It's either going into a garrison, or um, passing by a heavy, right? The cutter solution becomes auto self nuke, and it absolutely does. It would be auto self nuke. But, um, uh, overall, I feel confident because I generally do a very good job of avoiding heavies. And that's even without s this speed. Ah, hey, Runia. Runia says, Triangulator will give you a plus five luck bonus, which will prevent heavies from blocking your path. Okay, well, clearly we need a triangulator then. I like triangulator, it's cool. All right, we're currently actually running on power, though. Uh, what are we running here because of RCS? RCS is kind of nice to keep on. And I need the seismic, and we're at minus five with that. That's pretty okay. Heat is now at plus zero. <laughs> yes! Triangles. Eh, praise the triangles. Okay, um, but we're in a dead end right now, which is kind of bad. This is a situation where it would be nice to have that. 
<laughs> Triangulate. Triangulator that'll let you down and teach you not to trust false prophets. All right. What I don't know is where that hunter ended up. Also, they sent out drones. Where the hell did their drones go? Okay, okay. We're safe. Yeah, double check with the triangulator. We're good. Which means I don't actually need the triangulator on right now. Uh, I can put something else on. Uh, I guess technically, I don't even have my armor on. I should have my armor on just in case I uh, get... Uh, the RCS plus armor is kind of nice to have around in case I get to buy a trap. Or encounter a trap. Jammer is also nice. Um, to ha a thing to have on. So cloaking... Oh, that's right, I was carrying cloaking too. I can, that might come in handy at some point, but that's more situational. So I guess I should swap out triangulator for some armor. Watch there be a heavy right there. If there's a heavy right here... Well, it can't be, I mean, it can't be right here, right here, right? But yeah, the heavy range, uh, advanced actuator array. Hmm. There's, it's true though, we're gonna run into heavies at some point, I'm sure. Oh, there's a rotation underway. Hmm, started at 352, started 75 turns ago. So yeah, the heavies are on the move. That's even more dangerous than just heavies. I'm stepping out in more open areas specifically because I have visual range which allows me to usually see longer than the enemy unless we run into a heavy which happens to be guarding the corridor. Ooh, that's nice to know. Hmm. Can't guarantee there's a way beyond that wall. Structural scanner would be nice too, wouldn't it? Oh, so much info where I need. Did, we'd actually played a lot of this run with a structural scanner early on. Ended up losing it, but it was very useful while it lasted. Oh wait, there can't be shoots here. That's right, I forgot, we're in factory already. <laughs> Me carrying around my data jack still. Signal interpreter. Oh, that's right, actually I found that exit over there. Uh, hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. That's kind of annoying to go all the way back around there, but you know, it might be useful. It'd be cooler if there was a terminal nearby I could use. Also, I'd have to carry that. Maybe I'll pass. Oh, there's a terminal right there. Hell yeah. <gasps> Assassins to the east. Another terminal. Alright, direct hack. Crap. See, I would have succeeded if I had a botnet. Whoops. Wrong weapon. <laughs> Wait, what is that weapon? Oh, that's a fusion bomb launcher. Huh. Maybe I should grab that too. Uh, layered heavy armor. Man. Double man. <laughs> At least he missed. But, um... I wanted the matter. I wanted to hack. Man, if, if only I'd put a botnet on this thing, we would already have the answer. I data jacked a wall, yeah. <laughs> ah, the smarter thing to do when you have a big terminal next to a weaker terminal and you're going to do something in the weaker terminal that you really need, put a botnet on the stronger terminal and then go hack it, use it to hack the weaker terminal. That would have been smarter, but there's a sentry here anyway, so it kind of, mm, yeah, puts a bit of a crimp in those plans. And I want that matter also, but I'm going to get a new launcher. And I don't think I can go south because there's hunters there I think they're headed west I can't dig through this wall quick botnetting bigger terminals have a stronger effect no the reason you botnet a bigger terminals is because botnet is an easy hack it's an easy thing to install which means you're not going to get as much done on a larger terminal anyway so you might as well put a botnet on it um, which allows it to be even easier to hack the easier terminals uh, I mean, it depends on, again, this is, it's it's really a scale, though. It depends on how much hackware you have, your actual hacking ability. We only have a medium amount of hackware right now, and it's mostly defensive hackware, which is not, not as good. But uh, it depends on your hackware balance and the kinds of hacks you're going for. But in my personal experience, I like to use that, use big terminals for that. But that's also because I normally don't carry any hackware, or maybe only one piece. Which means I'm not going to do anything on a bigger terminal anyway, except something like botnets, which are not that hard to put on. They happen to be one of the easier hacks for that reason. It gives you something else to do there. 
Also, there's another terminal to the north that I didn't get. I kind of want to like to get rid of this sentry. I guess I could go west around the sentry and circle back. Herf cannon, recalibrator, and a whole lot of matter. Hmm. Security level one, again. All right, fine, I'll put a binet on here. Oh, a binet enabled success. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> what kind of builds you normally play if not Hackerman ones? Oh, most popular way? Nah, not the most popular uh, by far. It's, an, it's you know, one of the easier ways to get a basic win. Um, not most popular. Especially not recently. In fact, it's less popular than it used to be. It's it's certainly still popular, but if you want to compare like numbers of types of builds people are doing, I mean, I want to shoot stuff and uh, and use riff. I mean, I like a lot of other builds. I like melee builds. They're a lot of fun. I like riff builds um, and just outright lots of weapons. My last run, if you look on my YouTube channel, was a an executioner build. So literally running around with like six, seven weapon slots, destroying everything. <laughs> But, um, yeah, for, if you're going for a basic win, you want to go for a fast and able to hack because it's, it's generally safer. You can run from most things. You can't run if you're a fighter uh, from most things. You can avoid stuff, but you can't run once you're engaged. So that causes more problems. All right, still didn't manage to get that hack in. Is that, is that sentry? Can st oh, oops. Need to get rid of that sentry. Could have done that earlier. Forgot. Engineer to the southeast. Sentry to the south. Um, one thing I need to put on here is my triangulator. He's gone. All right. I put on the triangulator just in time to see the sentry turn away. He's sleeping now. And that's because I put on our ECM suite, which is pretty awesome. I haven't used one of these seriously, like, ever. <laughs> is the Rift stuff also not part of a hacker build? I've gotten farther than that. Oh, it's a different kind of build. I mean, it's a very different build. It's um, robot hacking. It's the difference between robot hacking and machine hacking, basically. So, yeah, it's a whole different way to play. Um, different parts, different build um, strategies, um, just all kinds of... All kinds of differences. They're, they don't even really have a whole lot of overlap. If you do one, you're probably not doing the other. Probably. But unless you do light riff, you can do, which some people do, you can do a little bit of robot hacking combined with machine hacking. But if you're trying to go full on robot hacking, you're probably not going to do any machine hacking, with, I mean, at least with hackware. And you probably won't be that fast. Okay, so part of my goal. Shoot. Man, no, I just want to find out what that exit is. Signal interpreter is gonna take. I haven't even made it past this research. Level. Oh, you know what I just remembered? Our next floor is free too. God damn. <laughs> um, that makes it even easier. But I need to get off this floor to the next research floor. Which honestly, this here is probably not a research exit. There's a good chance it's not. I guess I should leave it behind then. Sentry in the room to the southeast. Uh, what else was in there? Hmm. Mainly just wanted to use the terminal. Uh-oh. What's in this room to the southeast now? That's big. Is that a hauler? I mean, it's only one thing anyway. It can't be the investigation. It must be a hauler. The hunters are down here somewhere. <laughs> Alright, now we're headed into new territory again. And I've got good views. So, good vision here. Freaking garrison, stay away. Haven't seen any of the rotation, fortunately. Heavy siege in a terminal. Fusion bomb. It's 26. Okay, let me seal one. Thank you. Sold one. Sold one. Sealed one. Friggin' A. Uh, that's a DSF anyway. He didn't actually spot us though. So. 
Um, I did drop the launcher. I have a different launcher now. I have a fusion bomb. There's no, there's a second one there, but I'm not doing launchers, so. Prototype flight unit to the south and the melee analysis and anti-missile system and a repair station. We're good on repairs except for our flight brick, which is lasting forever. Temptations. <laughs> that eh, can, can do that, sort of. I don't know. I didn't have a good defensive build, but uh, we're headed to the far side of the map, which is good. It means we're getting closer to potential exit. Heavy shock bomb, phase shifter, terminal off to the west. Let's do the, hit this terminal real quick. Oh, there's a director in here. I'm faster than you, dude. Don't make me axe your terminal. <sighs> That's good. Um, zero percent. That's not happening. Let's see here. What can I? What do I have to direct? We need to direct. This is a security level three, only a middling hacker, which means we really should be going for direct hacks. Um. Wait until, oh, wait until they assimilate. That's something I didn't think about. Use him to assimilate his own terminal? Mm-hmm. I didn't think about that. Mm. That's an idea. <laughs> Good idea. I'm bad at hacking. Okay, so let's go for... Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> All right, I have enough defensive hacker that I'd risk that. I'm not used to having defensive hacker, especially this much, so normally I would have quit already, but I did an extra hack anyway. Just trying to get... We got a nano sword. ID, which is nice. I'd like to get an sword. Gamma Bomb Array. And we got a new friend. Hello, friend. Tell me where the traps are. Oh, shoot. Sentry. Um. Hmm. Oh, I love Assimilate so much. Favorite hack in the game so far. Hmm. Uh, operator might survive. I could, I, could make the, I could make the operator survive if I want to. I don't think... The sentry's not actually tracking us. He's just going to come out here. So I've already told this operator to wait here. I could tell him to, um, if I really wanted to, I could save him by going into, uh, go into this room, pull him in further, and then cut out the southeast side and go off for a while on my own. But I could also just leave him there. Actually, wait. He's fast anyway. Just get over here. He's fast enough to make it out of there. Operator will be fine. Dude, where are you? I'm, I'm that fast, huh? <laughs> hey, Luigi! You made it! It's getting late. He's fast, but also stupid. <laughs> True. Oh my god, you went flight? I mean, you mean I'm still flight? I didn't go flight. This is the original flight brick run from last week. But it's getting slower. Man, where's the... Oh, damn. Speaking of exits, neither of these is even guarded. Whoa. All right. Somebody actually does finally need to have a uh, interpreter here. <sighs> Prototype treads, too. Hmm. Anyway. And now I need a watcher. As someone was joking earlier, the watchers are so easy to find when you don't want to be spotted, when you're trying to do stealth. But as soon as you need a watcher around to steal their... <laughs> Their interpreter. <laughs> They're nowhere to be found. Uh, there's an interpreter on the floor, but it's way back up here. Like, way, way back up here. Way somewhere back up there. Because oh, Roddy was the original flying player. I'm calling the middle one the branch exit. Uh, it's really hard to tell. There's no difference. Based on map generation, any three of these could be an exit to either a branch or research. Uh, so, I, I, yeah, there's no way to tell the difference. You can just randomly guess. You also vote for the middle one, the little box. <laughs> it's not about map generation. It's about feelings. <laughs> so you go, okay. <laughs> right. That's right. I forgot. Feeling. All right. Oh, shoot. Well, what did he just hit? Did he hit my core? Penetrates the wall. Uh, okay. Yeah, he hit my core. That's like... 8% exposed and exactly what I want you to hit. Haha, -ha, I fell right into my trap. Shot me exactly where I wanted to be shot. Okay. Need to find a watcher. Or a terminal. Either one. 
or just to find an actual one just lying on the ground, which happens too. <sighs> Somebody's talking about Big Head Cogmine Mo with Mega Core Exposure. How great that would be for flight. Uh, probably be pretty, pretty good, yeah. Too good? Well, actually, that's what I think people also sort of used to do with biomechanical wings, right? I mean, then you don't lose your flight because they don't have coverage. Thank God the core is here to protect our precious <laughs> items. Exactly. Biomechs are silly though. Yeah, they're, they're good, good for that. Not in research, but yeah, exactly. People were doing that. Or, especially in the past, used to do that a lot. Mm. Can't actually see where he is right now, but it means he's far away. There's a leg. Biometal. Prototype processor. Not getting me with those prototypes anymore. A lot of stasis traps around here. This is an easy seal. <laughs> stasis trap rendered useless by seal. Did you see there's a stasis trap right there? But that's also where the garrison door opens. So if you seal it, it actually destroys traps on that location. All this good stuff down here. Hmm. It is good stuff. Still being tracked. Where's my friend? Uh component analysis suite. You missed the flight engine. Oh, did I? I don't. I don't pay. Where? I'm not paying attention to engines. I should probably be paying, paying attention to engines, though. I haven't been upgrading mine. Oh, the micro antimatter reactor. Ah, oh, yes. I need to go back and grab that. Ah, oh, later, Rad Banker. Good night. You're right, I'm bad at this. Okay, so what is this here? Is this, yeah, 814? Hmm, I mean, obviously we can still support it, so that's okay. Better than nothing. Um, yeah. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever, because Roddy has ever looked at the micro antimatter reactions or engine since creating it without immediately forgetting it. Eh, eh, yeah, pretty much. Unless I'm, the thing is, I'm only usually looking at for engines if I have none, but, uh, or if they're, you know, I'm not looking for this sort of thing, micro engines. They, I put their, again, they're, they're just like the flight units, then blind to them. Thank you for this engine. I'm still very happy for this addition. Yes, it's, 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 I can see it. It, it was, it was a needed, uh, oh, there we go. There's, here it comes. It was needed. Energy alert. Yep, tracking, tracking. He's coming, still. I could turn on the ECM again, but I'm waiting to get some power back. Impulse thruster array. Did he spot the operator? Uh, that's a good question. I don't think so, though. Check the recycler for toys. Oh, yeah, I forgot about doing that. You can always turn your prop and RCS off. Oh, that's true. I mainly, I guess that's true. Right now, I don't need RCS. The main reason I leave RCS on is in case I run into traps, but it can't happen right now anyway. Um, turn prop off. Do I have extra prop, actually, that I'm not using? Oh... Yeah, I actually do. I'm not, I don't need all this prop on. Hmm. Oh, well, I mean, part of the reason, I guess, would be for the extra speed. It does give me a little extra speed. Uh, not sure how that balances out in the end. This thing never saves you from traps. What, the RCS? What is the chance on it, anyway? Same chance. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's not super helpful in that regard. Oh, it only dodges if you hit an... Wait, what? It only dodges if you hit an explosive trap. I think you mean the opposite, doesn't it? Only dodge if you don't hit an explosive trap. That wouldn't make much sense to only do it that way. Why would I do that? That would make no sense. No, I, I mean, at least I don't think that's the way it works. In practice.
Found scanalyzer. Friggin' A. Man, I'm getting further and further away from those exits. Hey, Waste Triangulator, is that some kind of dev hack only item? What? <laughs> you know Waste, no? Oh, copyright. You will find that there's many details I don't remember co in about Cogmind because I don't use them personally as a player, but, you know, Cogmind is massive. There's no way I'm going to remember absolutely every detail about everything. Part of the problem that contributes to uh, that is the fact that the game changes over time, too, which means sometimes things that are true become not true after a time, or sometimes times things were not true eventually become true. It changes. You can find some of the long-term players have, like Oimika here, have the same issue. <laughs> <laughs> things changing and you might remember the way they were at some point so you can't always trust your uh, knowledge unless you've been using it recently oh I am I am 100% player here <laughs> I can talk about the dev side but I am also yeah always talking about the uh, the dev side too where the triangulator okay we're not being tracked anymore triangulator is, uh, is a good item it's, it allows you to tell uh, exactly how many people are tracking you and where they are and it has a very long range so it's a really it's a good way if you're trying to lose enemies it's a good way to do that um, to know exactly when the point at which all enemies have lost you or how many specifically are following you but once you're not using it for that you don't need to keep it on technically <laughs> cat plus plus says I don't remember things about my software from a month ago <laughs> yeah uh, that's the thing too about uh, memory when you're developing something you know, there's a, you can only keep so much in your brain at once, so, or at least, I mean, I can. Most people are like that, so, you know, there's a, there's always, you know, things, you're always dumping things that you don't necessarily need to remember. And so what I'll do if I have to, for example, obviously I need to know these things for design purposes and balance purposes and even just building new features. But what I'll do is, I mean, I'll go back and reference all the notes and do my own research on the game and all the things I need to know in order to make sure something's done correctly or in, in the best way. Um, I'll go back and do that at the time. But I'm not going to remember everything forever, that's for sure. But yeah exactly they avoid as i leave comments to my future self in the code thanks previous self yeah i, I leave all, i leave a ton of notes and and comments in cogmind um source and all just my notes in general so it's uh, so it doesn't lead to problems because yeah if i didn't have that that would be kind of insane because there's a lot of stuff that goes into it and you need to know all those things when working on it but yeah it is always funny i know it's, it's funny when people hear that for the first time on my streams it's like i don't remember that i'm like asking players how does that work right <laughs> can i do this <laughs> uh but i'm definitely in player mode here except when i come up Ooh, q thrusters do people hate those i think people don't like those oh i found a signal interpreter and the exits are way over here. One of these has got to be an, a real exit that I want, though. So I guess you should probably double back. Unless I can find a freaking terminal. Signal interpreter. Q thruster. Do I actually want a Q thruster? I got all prototype stuff right now. Uh, I guess I could use it instead of field propulsion drive. 45S7. I actually step up here just to look at that. Hmm. It's faster. I guess I don't actually need that. I do need the signal interpreter, though. I want that right now. I will have to drop something to carry it, though, oh, which is always kind of a burden. <laughs> I smell a bomb. No, we have, we have friends here. I did see that, Runia. Someone else getting a plus with DLC. I didn't see the final results of it, but I saw them getting set up to do the final plus. Well, the first plus, the only plus they're going to get with that. I did see it. It was it was pretty cool. They had a different build. I noticed they were playing on Explorer, so they it, they had it easier than you did, but... It's still a feat, right? Um, okay, so, what am I doing here? Uh, hmm. I don't know, I have more than I need here. Yeah, definitely, they're like the second person to do that, and it's not easy to do on any mode. But, um, yeah. It was it was nice to see someone else do it differently. They didn't they couldn't go all the way since they didn't have um, they they didn't use the conduit. You got a DC, otherwise you'll die <laughs> if you do it without DC. The double plus that was funny to see that brought up too. I didn't even actually think about that at first. 
but it makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Inspired you to fire up the game again. What is it this time? Not another DLC run, I assume. <laughs> um, the DLC is that related to pay to buy? It's funny when talking about DLC is the name of a part. Cogmine DLC. Is, Cogmine DLC is included for everyone in every sense of the word. Um, a riff probably. Yeah. Yeah, I want to do a riff run too. I mean, there's a lot of people been doing riff and it was always one of my favorites um as well. Probably want to do that next. Riff. Okay, anyway, back to focusing on here. Uh, no, 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 shoot. I have all this stuff. But who knows wherever the game takes me. Yeah. It's fun to go in the flood here. Yeah, let me pull up the official Cogmind acronym list. Yeah, Amica's got the great acronym list in if Cogmind, which gets longer all the time. It's funny. Um, I'm still carrying around this heatsink. Oh, actually, we're. Oh yeah, we're net positive right now. ECA Warlord forever. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder if I'll ever actually, I don't know, Transmission Jammer seems less useful for me, especially if I'm going to use all the other stuff. Transmission Jammer, I would, to make it super useful, I would have to have it on all the time or in advance. I think it's more useful for other builds. I might drop that, huh? Considering what else I have. The only reason to keep it would be is if I know I have to pass by something that's going to alert other things, and then I'll put it on in advance, which... I can see that happening too. That's the problem. I can see very good uses for a lot of this stuff. But I'm not using it exactly. I've, I try to put it on at the end. I think I'm going to drop that. It's not something people normally drop, but I think I'm going to drop that. All right, we're not being tracked anymore. There's a hidden door. Cute thrust I don't need. Where'd my friend go? All right, now we can go back and find. Yeah, I mean, because like all sad face here. <laughs> Do you really need the triangulator? No, I don't need that either. <laughs> but I'm going to use it more often than the jammers. <laughs> oh. Don't need either one. Alright, we're headed back this way, finally. Oh my god, it's forever. This floor is taking a while. We've gone past time already. Kind of sucks. Definitely a choice. Yes! I like making choices. <laughs> got my DLC frog mind. You're a frog trying to escape the pond. <laughs> Oh, what's that over there? Is that the sentry? No. It would have been darker. Or brighter, I mean. Stronger signal from the sentry. Impulse to us to evade the south. Frogger mind. <laughs> Cross the room and not get shot by all the heavies. There's a friggin' ARC up there in the northwest. Where's he going? He's coming this way. Luckily we're fast. No, no, he's going northeast. Okay, he's good. Our operator friend is not dead yet. Oh, there's the sentry. Eh, hey, maybe. Huh. So why would he be coming this way if it was the sentry, though? Launcher guidance and anti-grav prototype processor, which I'd like to know, but I don't have a, a way to figure out what it is, so I'm not going to mess with it. I can't believe this operator is still alive. Uh-oh. Now he's going to die. Well, he's still telling us if there's something out there. I haven't heard any dead... haven't heard any death sounds. Maybe he survived. Okay, there's no enemy over there. Huh. He survived. Yeah, it must have been a hauler. I was wondering if it was a hauler or a sentry. The sentry must be long gone by now. Alright, it is time to find out where these exits lead. Testing. Man, I kind of want to go to testing. Just for fun. Oh, they're both testing? You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, friggin' Joker here. <laughs> uh, the small room is not always branch. It's, it's, it's a good chance. Uh, man, <laughs> well, I was trying to finish this run. I don't think I can finish this run today. It's going to go on too long. It's getting kind of late. 
I don't want to stream for too long. That's how I get sick. Too much talking. <sighs> Double testing exit right here. Man, maybe we'll have to go into testing. I I don't think we'll actually get anything I want in testing, though. I'd prefer to go to quarantine. It's cooler. Um, if we're going to go to a research branch. Otherwise, I mean, testing is just like, what, what the heck am I going to find in testing? <sighs> the other, Anyway, we now know that this... All right, this has to be a regular exit. The one I found right at the beginning. Because the only other exit from research is armory, and if armory is at this... Oh, no, wait. If armory is at this depth... Oh, never mind. This could be armory. Hmm. I forgot. A Z-bomb launcher, and that's it? Yeah, like what stuff I can get from testing? I don't think... I, this build doesn't need testing. It's not really going to benefit from it at all. It's just an exit. So this could be armory here. It's probably not a regular exit. Damn. Came back over here. And I thought at least one of these would be the exit I wanted. But it is not. Hmm. Oh, that's what MTF had last time. No other shells. Hmm. 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 Oh, that's annoying. That, I guess... Eh, damn. Well, it's getting a little late anyway. I might have to decide next time then. But I also don't want to stop here. It's okay to pause, yeah. I mean, if I'm going to go into testing, I would definitely pause here. But if I'm not going to go into testing, it's not great to pause here. But All right, well, I'll probably stop here and leave some notes then. Eh, just to review next time. Um, whoops, that's an action mode. Um, uh... Don't, not really anything else especially that I need to remember on this, but mm, I kind of want to hack that. I could hack that terminal to find other where more exits lead or try to. Man, close though. Two exits. Finally got a signal interpreter. <laughs> Senjai says it's not okay to pause here. Bad influence me. Eh, been going for four hours, and eh, that's that's about the limit. I shouldn't go any further. I used to stream for five hours as long as there's, it wasn't a great place to pause, or even just to try to get as far as possible. But this is still going to be enough for another stream, apparently. Really, though, the, no, it, it would be a short stream probably. I'd have to start like another run, maybe in the middle of the next stream. If I'm really doing the straight shot, uh, could probably finish the next one pretty quickly, probably. But anyway. Flight Brick is still alive. Lost 100 integrity today from it so far. And that was our route currently in research. Uh, we know what's at this and the next depth. And also Warlord's coming. Uh, I should probably make a note about that. There. Anyway, that's the log note feature in case you didn't know. If you need to leave yourself some notes for next time, you can use the spacebar menu to add log note. And then you can see there in the bottom of our log there. So when you come back to the game, you can check your notes. If you uh, need to remind yourself of something and you wanted to do it via an in-game method instead of like writing actual notes or something, that is one thing to do. Uh, last night I played six hours straight, although I wasn't doing any talking. Yeah, this has been four hours of playing and talking. It's, uh, it's a lot of talking mainly. I don't mind playing for that <laughs> games or any game or Cogline for that long. That's easy to do, but yeah, um, I would be happy to keep going if I was just playing. In fact, I do. It's, it's sometimes when I'm doing a test run to release a new version of Cogmine, I do a quick test at the beginning. I'm like, oh, this is fun. And I play through two maps and it's just one more map and I just keep going. And then it's like three hours later and I'm still doing the running around, doing fun stuff. <laughs> so I have to force myself to stop. So I actually have like two or three saves, which are only partially completed because I start a new fresh one each time when I'm just doing testing, but I never actually have the time to go back and finish those. So I do have some runs in the middle of nowhere i did actually once i think it was the stream right after beta 13 released i once went back yeah for that particular run i went back and finished my uh a run i was playing on my own uh the first half of and ended up deciding to finish that for a stream just for fun so anyway um yeah that'll be it for today then and uh we'll continue this run finish it uh next week um at the normal time and uh yeah and then getting to do other types of runs after that um but so yeah thanks everyone for showing up um 
not I don't think I have anything else to report just working on beta 14 now so yeah thanks for I think for everyone for showing up uh, later Luigi Rooney Rooney everybody see you back in the discord uh, as usual um, later <laughs>